Wait, when you gonna come? When you coming? Call my phone number. Call my phone number, baby. Because if you got money and you want to give it to me, then I'm going to take it. You going to take care of me? Yes. Okay. She says she's right. Okay, baby. Well, uh, I'll talk to you later. I can't wait. Oh, where's, where's Palm Beach? Who this? I got who? I got hoes in different area clothes. Area clothes. I got hoes. I got hoes in different No, and four oh four, I'm wearing a wide bitch, act like y'all know it's the abominable hoe man. Globe trot international postman, neighbor dick dope man. 718-202s, I send small cities and states. I owe you 901. Matter of fact, 305. I'll jump off the G4. We can meet outside. So control your hormones and keep your drawers on. Till I close the door and I'm jumping your bones. 312, 313. 215s, 803s. I'll read your horoscope and eat some hors d'oeuvres. 10 on pump one, these holes is self serve. 757, 410s, my cell phone's just overload. I've got holes. I've got holes. Holiday. So stop the violence and put the foe foe away and get you the whole day. 504 972 713. What you gon' do? You checking out the scene, I'm checking a whole deny. With perpendicular vehicular homicide. 314 201. Too much green, too much fun. I bang cock and bang cock. You wanna suck my dick? Well, why didn't you just say so? You was trying to tell me you wanna suck on my how bad do you want to suck on my You too, you want to suck it too? Yes. You want to suck it together? Mm -hmm. Would you guys like to suck my together? Yes. Come closer. Tell me about sucking my how you want to suck my <laughs> Get on your knees. That's awesome. Tell me. <laughs> Tell me more about how you want to suck my Tell me more. Explain like... to the people about how it feels to suck my mm. I just need to make this clear real quick, okay? All these people who were a part of Chi's life, you know them videos they used to do proclaiming the kingdom and teaching knowledge? Yeah, all of that is real. Chief has something very powerful to give the world. Mentally, spiritually, everything. That's why motherfuckers leave motherfucking jobs, goddamn schools, um, certain people to walk this path. And to be by chief's side let me tell you something everything that they be saying online please don't believe the hype these people leave they just cater to the trolls and feed into what the trolls saying just so they can get clout and attention because these people are too weak enough to get the amount of following that chief naturally has by just being himself these people are too these people are too weak to get all the online followers that they have now because of Chief on their own. So they attach themselves to someone powerful and now they're trying to feed off a of Chief power. And they're doing ignorant, stupid shit to stay connected to Chief so they can continue to have their following. But look what they're doing though. Look how they're taking the opportunity. It's so dishonorable, unrighteous, and uh, disgusting how these people are moving. You know what I mean? And the real reason why these people are doing it because they got weak on their spiritual journey. <laughs> you feel me? When we was in the tropics and we had crates of organic fruit, 
We had a goddamn river waterfall in our fucking backyard. We had multiple outdoor showers. So much land. Let me tell you something. These motherfuckers was kissing chief ass when we was up. What? Y'all seen them online. Y'all seen them serving our king every single day. When they was in a higher self, when they was in a higher mind, when they when they seen reality as one, when they knew reality could not exist without their observation, and they knew chief was an important sacred entity that helped them in life, and they showed honor to him, but they got weak. They got weak on their journey. Why? Niggas ain't niggas want pussy. Niggas want a girl. They put a woman over their mission. Why? All they gonna do is get pregnant and then call the police on you and have you locked up for no fucking reason? The fuck? And what the females do? What? Generational curses. This system and society program in our fucking minds, monogamy. So bitches get mad and resentful when she don't get her fucking way. But it don't matter what fucking emotion. Bitch, nobody owe you nothing. Bitches be expecting shit coming in Chief life. Yeah, Chief is amazing. He will romance you. He he will blow your fucking mind. He is such a good man. And all these bitches want his attention. But bitch, you need to get your fucking mind right. <laughs> before you be thinking about a relationship and what you not getting and what you need. and uh, ugh. That is Western. We need to come into our higher upright mind. And that is what Chief is doing. That is why when you see these people leave, what are they doing? Their actions speak for itself. What are we doing? The actions speak for itself. Needless. And so all of these people is cowards because in Chief face, they bowing. What the fuck? And motherfuckers can leave anytime they want. These people are just too fucking weak. They some fucking cowards to say, Chief, I'm about to leave. I'm about to bounce. Bitch, you don't have to escape nowhere. You can walk the fuck out. We will drop you off, bitch. Call your fucking Uber and go, bitch. We're going to try to help you and talk to you because we know you being ignorant and you being stupid and you moving out of your emotions. People move out of their emotions all the time. Like you might meet somebody and you will feel sexual energy and you want to make love to them. But you don't fucking know them. You could get fucking pregnant. So just because you felt one emotion in one moment, it led, led you down a, a long road, a decision that you made that you're going to constantly deal with just for a moment. So that's all we be doing, trying to help motherfuckers. Motherfuckers come here talking about they got to escape. Bitch, you don't got to escape. The fuck? Drop your ass off. <laughs> you see them. They disrespectful. The, the men, mad disrespectful. Look how they moving. They think they're going to get away. With the shit they doing like you can't have niggas around you because why they just want to fuck your bitch they say they're cool with you they say they fuck with you they want to fuck your bitch whole time these motherfuckers is showing a true character that's why when we come back together and reunite we're not fucking with none of y'all and y'all mad y'all mad that all the women want to achieve all the women want to cheat because y'all some fuck niggas. Y'all some bitches. The fuck? A woman, when she get close to a man, she know what kind of man you are. She can sense the fuck kind of man you are. That's why none of, none of the women wanted y'all dusty ass niggas. And that's why y'all really mad. And that's why y'all doing what y'all really doing. Because y'all some fuck niggas. Nobody wanted y'all. Everybody wanted chief. Why? Because he real. He thorough. He straight up. He gonna teach you to be a woman. He gonna actually guide you. He's a real man. Y'all some little fuck boys that want pussy and don't have no morals and principles. The fuck? When a woman is with a man, she reproducing your character. I refuse to reproduce a fuck nigga. Ew. Women refuse to reproduce that unless they in a lower self. And you clearly see that going on right now too. And the women mad because they feel like they can be with Chief. They too insecure with themselves to build themselves up to be with Chief. And that's why they mad and say, oh, he did see that. No, bitch. <laughs> While you was here, you wanted to make love with him. You was fiending for the dick, bitch. We all seen it. <laughs> so stop playing. And all this shit, you know, the trolls be saying online like, oh, my God, he's abusive. He's doing this. He's that. None of that shit is true. Like, what? We be online and we teach and we act to get people attention, but we would chief behind the scenes like <laughs> for years, been living with him, like know him, like 
The fuck? None of that shit is going on. We not no stupid bitches. I'm not no stupid bitch. If it was somebody, if it was some shit going on like that, I would leave real quick. <laughs> quick. I would leave. The fuck? I'm not stupid. As, I'm not stupid. The fuck? And, and y'all measure intelligence by what the fuck? European norms. Well, if that's the case, I was a June. I went three years in fucking college at an all white liberal arts college. Does that make you fucking happy? Uh, does that confirm my intelligence? Well, there you go. And if some shit like that was happening, I would not be here. And I know a lot of people, the women would not be here. The fuck? The fuck? I went to a, I went to a private school. Okay, my first paper, I got an A. I was surprised as fuck. Bitch, does that show my intelligence? We not stupid. We're actually very, huh, very smart. Okay? And I don't even have to pull myself to y'all. You know what I mean? But I just want to let y'all know that Chief ain't even like that. Poppy ain't even like that. He ain't even on that type of time. Like, he the best man I ever found. He the best man on this planet to me. I trust him with all my... Man... Only, only the open minds will understand truly. But it's just crazy how people moving, how people getting on these cameras and saying this and that. Bitch, why didn't y'all call a fucking meeting and say on the shit, all the shit y'all saying online? Like, why Chief in jail? He not in jail. Actually, these motherfuckers who... These people who you see online saying all this shit about Chief, these are the real people in jail. These are the real people who locked up. They locked up mentally. Because they ignorant. That's why. They ignorant. Look at what they're doing. Perpetuating generational curses. Crabs in a bell trying to drag your own people down. Drag your own kind down. This is what they did to Jesus. Jesus was killed by his own people. Anytime the Christ or some type of light comes on this earth plane, their own people tear them down because the Messiah and some and, 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 and the, 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 the God is going to come down through the most broken and lost people. And the most broken and lost ignorant people hate themselves. So when the Messiah comes through these people, his own people is going to tear him down. And that's what the fuck you saying. Fuck the charges. Fuck all that shit. It's just black people. This world is hell. The fuck? Everything, everybody wakes up and go get a fucking piece of paper that come from nature. Bitch, just go to nature. This is hell. Everything we do, hell is evil, right? And evil flip backwards is live. So to live backwards is evil. So this is hell. What? 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 That makes this hell. So when a light or or a, 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 a being who channels God and channels the kingdom of heaven mentally, when that being comes to this earth realm that is vibrating on a frequency of hell and ignorance, the truth is a poison to a lie. So what the lie going to do? Tear down the truth. It's going to attack the truth. It's going to attack the light. It's going to attack righteousness. Yeah, everybody just rumble and trample over all your lies. But the truth always comes to the light. Everything is going to come to the light. And because everybody shitting on chief publicly, lying on chief publicly, and just living their fucking fairy tale lives like chief is not in jail for no fucking reason, bitch. The truth will be exposed and it will be irrefutable. It will be something you cannot argue against because it will be so clear. And that's what the fuck is about to happen. So keep watching the story. Chief has been locked up for over a year on some false charges. And let me tell you something. While the shit is fucked up on, on, on one dimension, on another dimension, we just, we getting stronger. We have our ears open to the messages of the universe. Nobody ain't no fucking victim. Motherfuckers leave, try to say I was in a cult, I was brainwashed. Bitch, it ain't that much fucking brainwashing. Bitch, you wasn't getting motherfucking brainwashed when you was living good in the mountaintop. Shut the fuck up. You not, you not stupid. If, if you say you got brainwashed, you that stupid. Like, you know what the fuck you was doing the whole time. Stop fucking playing. Y'all stupid. Y'all just trying to find... Trolls be trying to find anything 
to get to 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 criminalize chief like but the devil is always in the details so you need to go into details before you just believe some shit like i know what i'm doing i'm not stupid i'm doing what the fuck i want to do i choose not to get up and work for a system that's destroying this planet i know my fucking worth i don't work, get up and work for a p- fucking piece of paper that come from nature the fuck i'm too i'm too intelligent i'm I, man this reality is an illusion you are dreaming we are dreaming the fuck man if you don't go to nature boy tv watch quantum physics because i ain't about to get it now i'm just addressing the morals and principles i know what i'm doing <laughs> I, I know that I portal through a, a family and yes, I love and care about them, but they don't think how I think. And that is why I found my soul family, my frequency. Your family is your frequency. I know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't agree with the system schooling. I don't agree with what they teach in the schools. I feel like, you know, we should be learning the five sciences, everything in the chief breaks down. That's what I feel like we should be learning. I don't agree with um, women wearing fake nails. The most beautiful woman on the planet has a beauty supply. You don't see no fucking Chinese beauty supply. But you see a black beauty supply with wigs and shit altering their natural um um, genetic makeup and who they really are to be look more European. I don't agree with none of that shit. I don't agree with that shit. I feel like family should be raised differently. I don't believe in monogamy. I don't believe in how unruly people are. I don't believe in that society. So I know what the fuck I'm doing. It doesn't matter if shit gets hard on my journey. I stand on what the fuck I stand on. Pyramid. What? All these women are trying to um say they don't like polygamy what that's the reason why you grew up without the that's why you grew up emotionally neglected (laughs) no confidence insecure bitch because your mama had to go to fucking work for y'all to survive and yo and she couldn't handle and your mom and daddy not together because your mama couldn't handle the black man's natural nature to be with multiple women so she a single mom trying to take care of you and love you and she get off her work irritated and frustrated and so she take that shit out on you and bitches grow up saying they don't want uh uh polygamy the fuck perpetuation perpetuating generational curses because you don't want polygamy so your man gonna go behind your back and then you gonna break up with him bitch because you won't just accept nature and so you're going to be a single mom just like your mom trying to take care of your kid. Your kid going to grow up emotionally neglected, bitch, because you're not there. But that concludes my vent. I know um, we used to do videos. You used to see us, you know, proclaiming the kingdom online, doing videos every day. Um, we just been focusing on our family, staying close and tight, and making sure our king is, you know, he's emotionally good and, you know, we all just taking care of each other while we're going through this and you know people are just being so ignorant online it's ridiculous so we just been protecting our energy we've been protecting our energy that's why i'm not showing my face um just protecting ourselves because people are ruthless on the internet i'm telling you uh, what people do through this phone is phony that's why they're doing it through a phone because they phony you know the internet get cowards the outlet and just cowards just be outletting and while our king our provider and protector is not here with us we take the necessary steps to protect ourselves we take the necessary precautions to protect ourselves pyramid so everything we do is very strategically because of this circumstance right now um, but I just feel like we haven't had a voice to really talk and say how we feel, you know? So I just use this platform, my story, to just express how I feel about everything. Because this is our personal life. And you see all the shit that's going on, you know? So, and that does evoke certain emotions. And those emotions can just store in your body if you don't constantly just address it and make sense of it. You know what I mean? So, I, yeah, I'm going to use my story to just do vents. Um, I like post this on Chief Story, on Poppy Story, because it's some real shit just, just flow through me. You know, sometimes you just got to turn on the camera and say how you feel. You know what I'm saying? It's the outlet. And I'm thankful for my king for showing me that outlet. Because in America, we, we are taught to suppress our emotions. And so, I'm, I, you know, I just 
always got to address the morals and the principles. And on another dimension and aspect of it, we don't take it personally. Um, a part of me actually does just kind of feel bad for them because they gonna reap what they sow like karma is a motherfucker like you don't get away with nothing and i know these people are miserable i know they're hurt and they're doing ignorant things and i i just know the actions that they're taking are not gonna lead them to you know something good you know what i mean because whatever you are right now you are a product of how you think where you are right now in your life is a result of your thinking and the actions that you took and how they thinking and the actions that they taking. Mm. Man, I, I wish blessings to them and love and positivity. I'm simply speaking the truth and protecting and taking up for my king. You know, the people and everything that they doing, I, 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 I. I wish understanding to you and clarity and peace of mind to you. Understanding behind all anger. When you see somebody angry, just know that they hurt and they, they angry because they trying to cover up and protect their inner child. And know when you're hurt, it comes from a misunderstanding. Keep that in mind when you watch people, okay? And you cannot take things personally. You can only wish them understanding because there is some misunderstanding. And I'm just so blessed um, for the position that I'm in right now. And, you know, my family is in right now because we are being protected. We are living a pure, clean life, clean mind, clean environment, loving environment. It is women out here with five different baby daddies by some fuck niggas and I'm over here 25 in this realm. I'm infinite, but you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm way ahead of my time. <laughs> I done mastered this reality. I done mastered the system out the system. I done found the best man on this planet. <laughs> I'm healing myself every day, growing every day, learning every day, pushing myself for growth every day. And, and, and I'm thankful because there's a lot of women out there who are fucking themselves up because of the lack of understanding that they have or because of insecurities and hurt feelings. And how could you even be mad at somebody like that when you see what they're doing to their own self? I love myself. Peace to the gods. I would never let a bitch talk to me like that in my face, in my life. I would never, ever let a bitch talk to me like that. Nigga, what? I'm a, nigga, I'm a, I'm something like a pimp. Nigga, do you know who the fuck I am, nigga? Huh? I'm something like a motherfucking pimp. But I don't sell pussy. You better keep your bitch away from me, nigga. You know what time it is? Uh, real niggas know what it is. We ain't got to say it from a mile away. You know what time it is? It's big pimping, nigga. But I don't sell pussy. Uh -uh. I'm selling my knowledge. But I ain't selling it. I'm giving away for free. So whoever's willing, but these women, shit, you can take it. Do whatever you want. I don't care. Guess what? They still gonna come back. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Once a whore hit that block, shit, what you gonna do? You can't save a whole now. You wanna save these hoes, huh? You wanna save these hoes, huh? That's what you worried about? Nigga, we play with these hoes. This ain't nothing. This cheese shit, nigga. We do whatever we want with women, nigga. What are you talking about? If it wasn't for white privilege and supremacy, there wouldn't be no equal women rights, nigga. That shit happened because a white man is here, nigga. If it wasn't that, nigga, we have our foot on these hoes neck. We be throwing these hoes around, nigga. What you, what you think we doing behind the scenes? Real niggas is like, yo, look at this bitch I hit. Look at this bitch I hit, nigga. Look, you, we be sending these bitches to each other. We don't give a fuck about y'all hoes. We cheap. We big shit. Bitch, we kick y'all bitches out. Bitch, we don't give a fuck about none of y'all hoes. Please, I'm a real nigga. Yeah, God, a real nigga. Yeah, because God and Satan is the same thing. I'm both of them niggas. I can't be one and not be the other. <laughs> pimping? Where you think this pimping shit came from, nigga? God! That's why a bitch call me God! Where my nails at? Yeah! Big pimping, always been, nigga. But I ain't selling pussy. Oh, you, y'all niggas hating on the pimp? You mad at the pimp? I'm abusing hoes now? It's, a, it's called abuse the hoes to be, to be a, to be a P-I-N-P? God damn! Why y'all, why 
y'all stepping on my dick? Y'all niggas didn't get on my dick with this shit. How you eat? No, no, we all in it. Bitch, bitch, you don't give a fuck about that shit. We from the hood, nigga. We don't give a fuck about no hoe. Hey, look, if you a queen, nigga gonna protect you, y'all. For real, cause you a queen. Ain't nobody. If a bitch a real bitch, can't nobody disrespect her, cause a nigga gonna respect her, cause she know how to be around niggas. God is a very loving being. He's very caring. He's very um, holy. Okay, well, leave him. Please, leave. Get the fuck out here. Leave. Get up here. I said, stand right here. What I said? Shut out. Okay. Well, I mean, she gonna get us in trouble, bro. Right? Man, she wasn't with my ass. Yo, fuck her. No, 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 stop that. That's crazy, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. Do y'all think? Which she thought that she was she was following the right order, like you know, put my head on the ground. He said, no, put your head flat on the fucking ground, right? She put her whole body flat on the ground, right? What he did after that, he kicked her in the stomach. I mean kicked her in the stomach, like. Right? While she was on the ground like that. This is what you get. Look at you. You hit yourself. Now, tell me. I'm there. Because he's my, I, I gave my energy to him in, in that moment. And he's my teacher. And that's my role model, father figure. I'm just sitting there like, it's okay. She she's a woman. She's acting up right now, and her man is disciplining her. But that's fucking wrong, bro. The women and men who belong to the organization called Carbonation believe their leader, 40-year-old Eligio Bishop, is literally God, and they insist he should never have been arrested by DeKalb County Police Wednesday night at this home. They say he rents here on Arbor Trace near La Vista Road. They were all here when police showed up unexpectedly. This is a revolving door and you could come in and out as you please. No one is being, no, no one is going to hold you against your will here. Attitude in her face. What? Say, ooh, that was a good one. This makes some sense back into the view. Because she has tried to run. She can't get away. When she runs, she gets beaten. She tried to leave and she was attacked um, and she was forced to stay. Here, peace to the gods. Don't forget, we still ride for the truth. Our husband has been so optimistic and positive and stronger than most people That's through this whole experience. No. There is nobody in jail that ain't supposed to be in jail. Y'all already seen the truth. It's already out there on the internet. Three is free. Three is free. Three, three is free. Three to three. You can't, you can't shut the truth up. The truth is so much better than a lie. And you've seen the truth online. You want me in jail, don't you? That's where the fuck you want me? You want me in a cell, huh? What, what is a cell? A motherfucking cell. Block. I'm an immune system cell. You want me in a jail, don't you? Where you want me at, baby? Inside of you, don't you? <laughs> Tell the truth to these motherfucking folk. Now front on the real nigga. Front on the real, front on the real man that ain't with white supremacy. Front on the real nigga that ain't with white supremacy in front of these folk, you fucking devil. Go ahead, devil. Go ahead, devil. Go ahead. Nothing. Got that white man in you, don't you? Come on, devil. Tell him. Speak up, ho. You fucking devil. You want, yeah, you want, yeah. You think these people give a fuck about you? You people don't give a fuck about you. You in your mind, bitch. Stupid ass. Now put it on motherfucking T. Abuse. Yes, I'm abusing them. Now to come do something about it. Call the cops. Call 911. Tell everybody, bitch. This some motherfucking devil. And you don't know what it is. This is a motherfucking devil. She get on this camera and fucking act the fuck up. Fuck you. Yeah, the fuck? Do something about it, black whore. You a whore too. You suck my dick too, bitch. I'm a king. I'm a black king. Do something about it, whore. The bitch know what the fuck it is. Tell these people what it is.
Tell them what it is. I know what it is. I'm smart. I'm doing it on my own will. Yeah, I'm doing it on my own will. Bitch, you ain't shit. Fuck you. You know you're trying to make me people feel sorry for you. Ain't nobody feeling sorry for you, motherfucker. You here because you begged to be here. Bitch, I ain't actually come here. You came here on your motherfucking own, ho. Fuck out of here. Bitch. Yeah, I'm abusing the bitch. Now come do something about save dog. Save her. Stupid motherfucker. Say this whore. Save her. You stupid bitch. Now, now act up out this bitch. I'll show off on you. Malia, leave. Do you want to leave, Malia? Tell them what happened if you leave here. You'll go crazy, won't you? Yeah. Tell them who Baba G is. God. Tell them. Baba G is God. Now confess it. Proclaim it. Tell these bitches on this motherfucking live who I am. Baba G is God. With due emphasis. Tell them who I am. And I don't give a fuck who record this bitch. I'm God. The black man is God. You take shit off your hoe. I don't take shit off my bitch. So many people in our comments saying, damn, like the truth right here. Like, why is, why is, why is Poppy still in jail? The woman is supposed to be the queen, as, as he states. If the woman who she's fighting wins that fight, then the woman who won the fight would then take over that seat. But he couldn't have that. And clearly, that's not what was going to go down. So he had to create a story to make her kiss her feet, apologize, and do all these other things. It's a mind control. It's a mind fuck, okay? And so you got to see the bigger picture. This is how a cult works. Anything that the supposed Messiah, chosen one, the greater one does, there is no wrong. You can't question him. You can't do anything. When he was beaten and pummeling uh, 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 velvet down, you could not do anything but stand there and watch. You couldn't do anything but stand there and watch, okay? So what was I gonna do because he's strangling me? And what was I gonna do? No money, no uh, phone uh, connection. No, he took all my, he took the money, he took the phone. He, he, don't wanna give, he ain't gonna give you reception. Who you gonna call? Who, who you gonna call and where you gonna go? And how you gonna walk out the house and not get your ass beat? Did I not tell you that Malia escaped and that when she came back, she got her ass beat? Like, understand, you got, I'm trying to help you guys understand and wrap your mind around this. When you're in a cult, you have no opinion, you have no thought, you have no independent ideas, you have no intuition, you have nothing but whatever that Messiah says. What he says is what goes. I don't care if he just killed somebody cold-blooded in front of you. I don't care if he just strangled, which he did, and does all that he does. Nobody will question him, nobody will check him, nobody will do anything. Everybody sits back and watches. Okay, so that's just what it is, right? That's just what it is. And so it, it's <laughs> it's a wake up call. And, and I'm just here sharing with you so that you don't have to go through that same thing that I did. You don't have to experience that type of suffering or that type of pain or endure that type of treatment to be somewhere where you're not gonna be honored. Your voice is always supposed to be heard. You're always supposed to choose yourself in all circumstances, no matter it's your mother, father, pastor, teacher, lawyer, whoever. Every time my mouth get mad dry, I swear to God, like. Every, every time my channel, every time after it, my mouth be dry. Like my mouth dry as fuck. <laughs> No, 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 come on, come on. Uh, she, okay. They muted our mic. Some of our audience don't watch him, and this is what's actually going on. This is uh, very serious, so I, I encourage everyone to read along with me. Yo, son, that is me, nigga. Okay, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Give him my hand. Give him my hand. Come down, come down. 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 Come down, come down
Là, vous voulez Let's get into it, brother, for real. I want some serious shit. <laughs> the way you treat the woman deserves better. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, they didn't they didn't hear none of that that I said? You didn't hit you didn't hear none of that. I, I heard it, but I want you to get serious now. Let's get okay, serious. oh. Hmm? Okay. Like an interrogation to me. I, yo, niggas sound like police to me. I'm sorry. I, yo, ma, I'm, I'm sorry. I feel like oh, I feel like I'm being investigated. Yo, am I? Yo, I gotta be being punked right now. Niggas is asking me questions. Cops ask you, right? And yo, yo, son, if, yo, y'all niggas is trying to set me up. <laughs> yo, y'all the feds? For really? Y'all wearing wires? Yo, my man, you wearing a wire? <laughs> oh! Yo, y'all making me feel like, um, I feel like I'm being interrogated or something. Nah, but go ahead, ask me another question, officer. Nah, nah, go ahead, ask me the questions, bro. Go ahead, I just... I did. I go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead with the next question, man. Go ahead, man. Bro, go ahead. Ask me the next question, man.
Okay. Why is he still in jail? Why is you still got him locked up? Corrupt. Has Nature Boy ever stopped any of the members from leaving? Whether it be Velvet or any other member, has Nature Boy ever stopped anyone from leaving? Always, always. Um, when you you present to him that you want to leave, um, there will always be long, long drawn out meetings about why you shouldn't leave and why you would go to hell if you left and why you're wrong for leaving. And uh, yeah, they, he, he always would try and prevent you from leaving. And let me tell you something. Anybody that has betrayed me and less carbonation and talk shit, they gonna get the worst hell ever. Could you imagine that you was with me and you betrayed me and you get to the other side and then you and then you then you know it all and then you realize that yo you was right there nigga it's one thing to be watching me online and shit it's another the whole thing to come here and knew the truth and heard it and denied me like dogs you were gonna get it the worst um who betrayed me the king anybody that's left carbonation and um and went on the other side if you left carbonation alone Hey, hey, I'm gonna talk later. You wanna talk later? What's wrong? This is time to go. So y'all dipping. Don't be sad about it. It's your life decision, man. <laughs> it is what it is. You feel me? This is what they're gonna use. They're gonna try to use it. Let's just give them what they want. Alright? Yeah, yeah, I hope y'all best on your journey and so you know people want to know one day you, you was happy and then all of a sudden you just leave why you know but I, i'm still a joyous happy person it's not like that i wasn't happy i just feel like i could be more conducive somewhere else that's it you know, is a different path this is this but, okay so you could be more somewhere yeah. conducive more somewhere else right yeah like uh like you always have happy moments but like just overall like I think it's like analyzing the purpose and like feeling like, what did I do to y'all? Oh, absolutely no, not. No, 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 no. 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 The only thing you did was yours, not yourself. Right. Right. Like, right. like, right. I ain't do that. I ain't the reason why you did it. I just go on it because y'all feel like y'all, you know, trying to go. It is what it is. Right. And, and respectfully, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all came on your own and I let y'all do it. Y'all leaving your dick. This is what it is. Like, what can I say? You know what I'm saying? So I guess I put my own business out there and let y'all know that we got some people that are deciding to leave the camp and that's their own decision y'all want to go y'all you know yeah. and it's their decision they said they want to leave there's too much stress here like hey what can we do you know what i'm saying everybody gotta live their own life hopefully i hope that you're happy wherever you go and um you know and i wish y'all well you know and i hope y'all find a better fit for y'all people will say one thing to your face and then behind your back, they say another thing, you know? So if you have anything to say, it'd be honorable for you to say it to my face right here. So this way we won't see nothing later. i be like, yo, you was just here. You didn't say that. I, this is like a moment right here. I wanted to get on camera because of the fact that that's what people do. It was a beautiful, uh, beautiful journey, a uh, beautiful journey. Um, the honorable master chief commander of this earth plane really enlightened me and really brought me to knowledge of self and really changed my life for the better. You know, I, I will always take new jewels with me and always be able to use them. So, yeah. It's what it is. Absolutely. That's a fact. Um, Chief is, like I, I told him, like, he's like an amazing ass person. I don't think I'll ever meet anybody like Chief, you know, and um, he just taught me a lot of, a lot of valuable information, a lot of jewels. That's right. You won't meet Never forget that. <laughs> yeah. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. I'll be good. <laughs> You're making a decision in a moment. <laughs> and so it's intense. It's intense right now. Y'all making a decision and it's all good. There's no, I love myself. You feel me? You know what I mean? So, Fallout Crew, y'all know what it is. Y'all go ahead and go ahead. People say one thing to your face and then behind your back they say another thing, you know? So if you have anything to say, it'd be honorable for you to say it to my face right, right here. So this way we won't see nothing later. I'm like, yo, you was just here. You didn't say that. I, this is like a moment right here. I wanted to get on camera because of the fact that that's what people do. So number one, right? I don't know if y'all seen um, when they left, they had agreed not to use our social medias no more. 
You feel what I'm saying? They had agreed not to use the social media and try to make money off of it or anything like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or try to mislead them leaving. There was no reason for them to leave. Like, it, it really was no valid reason, but other than they just want to be the man themselves. Instead of them being team players, they wanted to go be me. Instead of, instead of we was we were stronger together, they want to go be me. Said, fuck it, I'm going to go be him. You know what I'm saying? And this is this is what's really going on right now. Flo been with me three years. Had no, I never did nothing to this brother, but help him out. He had no reason to dip on me, but only reason why he did is because of that fucking Anaya. And I'm going to just be honest with you. Anaya's a fucking demon, my nigga. She's a low vibrational yeah. being. I'm just going to, she's a snare. Innocent. An innocent man behind bars for something he didn't do. And you see it clearly. Our king has been so patient through this process. He has not complained once because he understands this is for a higher purpose. This is spiritual for him. This is an initiation into his godlyhood. But we still not going to act like the truth is not out there. This case is faulty. Yes. And it's wrong and it's foul. We going to speak up. We going to support our king because we love him so much. And we can never turn our back on our king. So I just want to say, keep supporting the three. Yes. Stay riding for the three. If you see the truth, if you know the truth, speak out. We have so much in store. The men that sit here and be like, yo, yo, man, Captain Saber Mask niggas. You know, Captain Saber Mask niggas. Always trying to stick up for black women. Oh, I, I protect black women. And nigga, I'll, I'll rip that. A real bitch don't need to be protected. Cause she know how to handle herself, nigga. Stupid motherfucker. She know how to handle herself, nigga. A real bitch don't need protection. She don't need you talk, uh, protecting her and da 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 da. She know how she, a real bitch know how to move. Need you to fucking protect her. Mind your fucking business. Monkey business. It's gorilla shit. And if we don't have the spirit as men, we'll never win. And when, it, when it's time for war, and when this shit fall off, and it's time to get it popping, you're going to be a bitch, nigga. Bitch, nigga. And that's why she don't respect you, nigga. Because you don't think like a real man, nigga. She'll never respect you. She'll say, oh, my husband this, my husband that. But you online listening to me. A real man would never let you listen to me. A real man would be like, get your stupid ass off that motherfucking phone. He gonna dominate. She gonna be like, okay, daddy. Okay, daddy. Or that she can't, she can't, she can't let a real nigga come along and be that. She she can't even be with a man. A man gonna leave. Every she run every man and she get off. Every time she meet a nigga, she running the nigga off. Stupid hoe. You couldn't have a man if you wanted to. Cause you a you a fake ass man, you dyke. Motherfucking dyke, put your dick away, ho. You ain't got no imaginary dick. They give these bitches dicks. They give these the government give these bitches dicks. Fucking stupid ho. I'm a man. You gotta call them what they are because they need to be 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 brought down to be built up. But first of all, hold on, bitch. You tell a bitch like, hold on, ho. I'm a man, ho. You see me standing here. Don't you ever emasculate me. I ain't letting you do what the master told you to do and me, but fuck you. I'm a man. And I was just, this is, we are God. When God came in the human form, he came in the man, in the black man. We are the original. We don't have to philosophize God. We are God. For well, honest with y'all, nigga, I ain't lied about shit. Literally. See, that's the thing. A narcissist is a liar. I told you the fucking truth. Push it, push it, push it. I never lied to you. A narcissist has no objection to his beliefs. I've given you nothing but facts to back up my shit. Mm -hmm. But mathematics. See, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I've shown empathy. I have empathy. You know, everyone knows I love my daughter. Oh, yes. Everyone knows I love these people around me. I, don't, I, I can't tolerate your fucking ignorance. Uh -huh. Rightfully so. I shouldn't have to tolerate your fucking ignorance. I've given super facts. You just ain't looked at them yet. You've been so into the drama. You ain't even look at my, you ain't even looking to my artifacts. Y'all niggas ain't even looking to my teachings. I'm past teaching at this point.
narcissistic bitch. 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 I'm 6'2", so I like my woman to be like 5'2", 5'3", 5'4", even shorter, bitch. You can be 4'11". You can be 4'3". You can be 4'3", bitch. I'll pick your ass up. I just love short women because I'm a dominant nigga, and so I like to dominate my woman, and that shit just make me feel like a man. The shorter you are, the more it make me feel masculine. So I like to feel like that, and I, I like, even if we arguing, I know I could crush you. Like I, I like to feel like I could crush my fucking woman with one hand. Cause that make me not do it, but I, it turns me on. It's, it's something in between me and be able to kill you, and me be and, and, and sexual, our sexual activity. I have to feel like I could kill you with one punch, bitch. <laughs> like you know what I mean? And I don't do it, but it, then it stimulates me sexually, and then I just ah, that shit drives me crazy. I'll be weak for y'all short bitches, like for real. That's some real shit. I had to realize. Um, women love to get choked. They like to get choked. Um, they might want you to chase them and rape them. Like when I say I'm talking about like play like rape and be a little rough with them, passionate, women love passion, women need to know when you touch them, it's intentional, like it's, they want to feel that you are touching them with all the intent in the world, women are attention seekers, they love attention, so you have to know how to be passionate with women and handle them like that, you have to, if you don't, then you're not going to have a loan anyway, so it, it just is what it is. I'm playing with you, she probably wants you to take that shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's how women get. They want you to take it. You asking for the vagina. I don't know why you doing that, my nigga. Like, stop asking for pussy, man. Take that shit. If that's your woman, that's your pussy. Take it. You feel me? Like, you shouldn't have to. She don't want to give you, man. She wants you to take it. That's why you not getting none. You know what I think? Nah. You know what I know? Is that when you're at a woman's house, or she's at your house, it no matter where you are, forget that part. And you try to have sex with her, and she says no. And you're like, come on, why not? And you pressure her into it to the point that she says yes. That's rape. That's definitely a form of rape. So just know when you're feeling good about yourself about how you hit that, she's at home feeling bad about herself and questioning herself. Just know when you tell your boys that you hit that. Don't forget to tell them about how you hit that. About how her flight, fight or freeze part of her brain kicked in. It was like, let's do this. So nothing bad happens. Before anything escalates. You're already bigger than her. You didn't think she was scared maybe. She's doing this. So nothing goes further. Whether she thought about that shit or not. And she's a, now an example for women out there who have thought like her in that situation to come to their senses and come to their terms and make sure that they're getting more information before they just jump out and, and make emotional decisions off the whim. You see what I'm Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. Yeah. So we, we feel like we feel like those people in combination, like at times. I ain't gonna lie, I feel bad for some of the people that's there because I know that they truly don't wanna be there. And if I could go back to Carbonation and stand in that bitch and say what I gotta say, I would. Do you understand? Do you understand what I'm saying to you right now? Yeah. And and and, and not saying that we want to go back, but we I know for me personally, I've been through a lot with Nature Boys. She has slapped Tina before, but why I she would be walking around looking sad. With, with, uh, uh, looking sad with a lip drop, and I keep asking her, and what, what is the matter with you? What's wrong? And it's always <laughs> nothing. It, uh, uh, and it would go on for a day or two till finally, why the f don't you? And, and then this is where I would slap her or something. Then she would change her mood or attitude or something. Let me tell you, I would say this I would do no more to Tina, and I did no more to Tina than I would want somebody to do to my mother. Tina has said 
that after a while, making love to you was like rape. That's another lie. <laughs> the boy, that chick, I swear, boy, they ain't missing no hoes. Look, there, I, look, look, I had, uh, there are very few I guess at, uh, uh, that, I, that, that I had that I didn't go with. If it's anything, man, I never even had time I wanted to make love at home. I mean, the, uh, the, unless it was through guilt that I don't. Do you ever regret anything that happened between you and Tina? No, but I don't see why I should be put down on whatever I did for 18 years that we were together, man. It fed us, it slept us, it raised our kids, it put them to school, it did whatever we, whatever we did. And so I don't know how all of this could have been bad. Man. We never, ever do nothing nice and easy. You know what my song is? Tell me. Well, you and my wife. You started, you can feel, you can feel, I know you, but you're helping me, you're home. You know what I'm saying? Now act up. Act up. Act up. I'll put you in put I'll put you in your place in front of these people, in front of these white niggas. You know, act out in front of the white man? Go ahead. The white man's gonna come save you. Yeah, you got he's got your back, baby. Go ahead, run out the door. Go run to the white man. Go ahead. Disrespect me, you can always smack me in my face. I can't do nothing, they'll lock me up. You can punch me in my face right now, on camera. No one's gonna lock you up. I'll be the one locked up when the police get here. You can disrespect me in my home. You can do whatever you want. Punch me. Run out the door. It's his fault. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> right. And then look, and then say I hit you. Oh! And then I'll go to jail for it. Here it is. But when you go to sleep at night, when no one's watching, and everybody's quiet, and you're all alone, and you start to drift off, and you start processing everything that happened, and everything starts to settle down. There's a place where white people Go. There's a come come. Come on. Stop watching. I know you're fascinated by my energy, but stop watching. Pay yeah, attention this morning that you never always stop. You'll notice they get dreamy and they start staring at me. That's the energy that I have. People always do that everywhere I go. When you meet me, you're gonna get stuck. You're gonna be staring at me. Either that or you will look away. But when you feel my energy, no matter what you thought you were gonna feel, or what you thought you was gonna say when you meet me, I guarantee you, you never guess how you're gonna feel when you see me. It's not gonna be the way you think. I promise you it won't turn out the way you think. It'll be more fascinating and beautiful. Don't be afraid. Tell me how much you love me. Bow before me. Everything you ever did for your other God that was in your mind and your subconscious. Everything you was already saying it. Jesus, Jesus. That was just me and you. And you can see me now. You can come worship me. You can come feel your God's energy. In real life. You can come talk to your God. Ask me questions of the universe. And if, you, if that's the case, I gave you my phone number. Call me. God sees you, motherfucker. The person that sees you is you. You will be self-condemned. A real nigga gonna rise to the top regardless. Just stay real. And remember, police got a code too. And they're loyal to each other. They are. You cross an officer, all the officers cross you because you crossed something bigger than an officer. You crossed what we stood for. You forgot what we stood for. Remember, man, to protect and serve, man. We're brothers.
Right or wrong? Right or wrong? Are we brothers right or wrong? Right or wrong. Right or wrong. Why? Why? I mean, if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, why you got to be wrong because I'm wrong? Why you got to do the time because of what I did wrong? Lord tells everything. Why? Tell me why you got to do the time. Honor is more important than the time I got to do. You know why? Because if one of us wrong, we all oh. wrong, nigga. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody free if one of my niggas is free. If one of my niggas was free and one of my niggas is gone, we all gone. We ain't living the same. We ain't breathing the same without him. That's why, nigga. Because if one of us locked up, we all locked up. That's why, nigga. It wouldn't matter if it was you or me. If one of us in there, we all in there. You get it? Push it through. And that, we're supposed to be bonded that deep as brothers, bro. That if they took you, they took me. And that's just the code of the streets, homie. That shit niggas don't know nothing about. On Nipsey. Stop snitching, nigga. You don't snitch on your family or your brother. Cuz, blood, whatever you are, hood. Cause we brothers, nigga. Look me in my eye, man. We brothers, nigga. We bonded by spirit, by blood, nigga. We blood brothers. They take one of us, they took all of us. You was about to say something like, um, you was about to say, cause she, like now people trying to say like, oh, she almost died because of you. Yeah, like, they trying to blame it on me when we publicly watched the shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? We, that's why I recorded it, because I want to make sure everybody knew, like, it wasn't me. You know what I'm saying? We gave her extra food. We made sure she had everything she needed. It just, it was her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you could talk about the power of the mind. Yeah. You can't force her to eat, though. No, no, no. I can't make her eat. Mm-mm. People depressed, they don't feel like eating anyway. Come on, Malia! Yeah! Let's go! Right. It's getting dark out here. Going. Come on, bull. Oh, oh, what happened to the bull? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, Come on, Maria. Come on, it's about to get dark. Come on. This shit ain't no joke, bro. Look at that sweet Come on, get on my back. It is gonna be clear days. Yes, it is. Come on. Come on. You already did that. Come on. 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 You gotta get on my back though. I was gonna do it. You all right? You good? Oh, get up. This is crazy. What the? I can't. Right here, y'all. Me not having a childhood myself, 
I was trying to force it instead of letting go of my attachment. Instead of that was a demon I had to overcome because I had to let go of my attachment, which was my own, which was my own childhood. I had to give myself that love instead of giving it to the child because that could be used against me, and it was. So I was trying to physically make uh, Velva do what, what what she was supposed to do. I'm not about to sit here with, with her and make her do like every minute of the day like I was doing. I, I damn near drove myself crazy. My face was breaking out with Velvet because I wanted her to do the right thing and I was trying to help her so bad so I can keep my daughter. My nigga, you feel what I'm saying? And then lost my daughter anyway. So it's like these are different demons on a spiritual path. This, this demon for me, not saying you're a demon. Don't think that I'm saying you're a demon. I'm saying that this is my demon that won't let you go because I feel guilty of anything happening to you. I feel sorry for you. This is my heart. My heart. I got a big heart, my nigga. Even though this shit ain't my problem, bro. This ain't my problem. This ain't got nothing to do with me. But it's it's attached itself to me, and it's and and and, and the test here is to make me feel guilty for Malia, and I'm and I won't and I can't. I can't because I've done all I can. I've done all I can to help her. You feel what I'm saying? So, so that that's what I'm dealing with with this whole situation. Because Malia will not listen. You give her the knowledge; it doesn't matter. She's gonna Guys, please be sure to drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button, and share this video. All right, y'all, let's get into this video. Um, so maybe a little over. I don't know. I may, I'm, maybe I'm not counting right. Um, but <laughs> my experience was an experience. Let me say that. It was an experience, and the reason why I say it like that is because I'm not going to sit up here and try to make it seem like it was just some terrible and bad experience, because it wasn't that. You know, what made it a terrible and a bad experience was mm -hmm. being controlled from Nature Boy from jail. That's what made it a bad experience. All right, y'all. So the lady that you guys are listening to is the woman who took in the wives when Eligio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God, went to jail. She's going to give us some insight on how things went and her experience. So just listen, guys. It gets good. I promise. Because if they would have just been able to maneuver around and allow me to help them get the cars, allow me to help them get the apartment that they needed, allow me to help them sign up for different benefits and stuff like that, then they will be better off than where they are now. But mind you, he never, he doesn't want them to have a mind of their own. So all we was doing was playing tennis at this point. I'm bringing them up and showing them different things, teaching them different things. And he's bringing it back down, bringing it back down. Oh no, y'all not finna do that. Oh no, we're not doing this. Yeah, anything to make them elevate, it, 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 it was an issue. And that's what made it a bad experience because I felt like, okay, I'm helping y'all, but I'm not really helping y'all. Like I'm not that like I'm I'm not really helping y'all because I he didn't allow me to give them the help that I wanted to. And I feel like I Ooh. put up with it as long as as long as possible because I did not want them to go anywhere and be out here and be in the shelters and this and that and this and that. I didn't want that for them. But it was out of my control because that's what y'all are choosing in the eyes of from for him, from him. So it's like, uh, you got to think of it as like, okay, family, me, Efru mama, Aya mama, you get what I'm saying? Zoka people, Malia people, like we don't stand a chance when it comes to them dealing with Alivio. He's always going right. to and all of us are always gonna come last and we're always gonna get the ass to kiss because they're under him. And that's why I just feel like when it comes to anybody, because people who have been following them for a very long time, mind you, people get emotionally involved. And I say this to the people who have been emotionally involved, don't, don't, don't feel that emotional about it. And don't feel like you need to help. Don't make the same mistake that I made. Don't feel like you need to do that because I'm going to be honest with you. That's to all you sympathizers and y'all donors out there. Y'all need to stop giving them money, offering help. Let them figure it out on their own. Maybe that's the only way that they'll snap the hell out of it. Don't make the same 
mistake that I made. Don't feel like you need to do that because I'm going to be honest with you. They're going to use you until they done using you. And when they done, they on to the next. Mm. Um, I will say this. They are very clean. They are not dirty at all whatsoever. They are very, right. very clean. They're not dirty. Um, and they are extremely organized. The only thing that they don't really have like a concept on is bills. And the reason why I say that is because y'all, she is going to go ahead and explain this. But when I heard it, I almost fell out. Let's hear what she has to say, y'all. Concept on is bills. And the reason why I say that is because because they don't know nothing about bills, because they don't know, and of course they wasn't in charge of nothing like that. Okay, well, for a person who do pay bills, such as myself, right? Okay, you can't have the lights on or the kitchen light on from 6 a.m. all the way down to 12 p.m. and then you have it on at 3 a.m. and then it goes all the way on at 6. You can't wash and dry clothes every single day. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> and it not be a certain wash day. You get what I'm saying? Like they didn't have a concept of um, saving. You know what I mean? And it's not even about saving. It's just when you pay bills, you, 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 you it, for, for the exception of people who sleep with the TV on at night, but it's just certain things you do. You getting up, you turning all the lights off, you making sure, you know, ain't nothing running, whatever, whatever, nothing to run your bill up. And for them, it's just like, okay, willy nilly, you know, we're going to cook from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And that's going to be that, you know what I mean? And, and then it's just, it got to the point where sometimes I'd be like, damn, can I get in the kitchen or is it occupied? You know what I'm saying? But mind you, I have two children. So for me, it was like me really coming outside of myself because I don't let nobody stay with me and my kids. The last person right. that stayed with me and my kids is their father. I don't let people stay with me. I, I, I actually prefer to pay for you to stay somewhere than you come stay with me. But mm. in this situation, you know, I literally was looking them in their face, looking at how scared they was, knowing they didn't have literally nowhere to go. And I'm like, OK. And mind you, the the beginning of it, they were all very, very respectful. It wasn't until the end to where mm -hmm. it was like, OK, what's up? What, what, what y'all trying to do? Because y'all already know how I'm coming. Uh, me and Zoku, we had a couple of hearts to hearts and I'll, I'll give you a little context. I told her, you don't got to do this. Like, you don't have to do this. And I bet y'all any amount of money that when she said that to Zoka, Zoka went back and reported it to Queen Malia. And Queen Malia reported to Elihio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God. And she immediately became a demon. Like, you don't have to do this. And I felt like we got to a point to where she understood because it was like a couple of days later she was letting me know she was like i'm about to leave right she was like i'm about to leave she told me she was like i'm about to leave my aunt's coming to pick me up and that's exactly what happened her aunt came to my house i met her aunt mm -hmm. said hello mm -hmm. you get what i'm saying uh wished her well and to me i thought that was like a little victory you know what i mean i'm sitting over here like yes one down three more to go you know, right. like I'm so saving was, the ladies, right? Okay. Right. So let me, I, I, I don't want to, I want to interrupt you just one minute because at that point in time, she kept reaching out, reaching out, reaching out because that's how I got Zoka's number. She kept reaching uh -huh. out and she wanted somebody to help her. She wanted to leave. And that's what uh -huh. I kept trying to tell everybody. Zoka does, none of them really want to be there. No, no, they don't. None of them um, really no, want to no, be there. No, but I'm going to tell you but, who do. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Who y'all think she gonna say? Is it Queen Malia? Is it Eferu? Is it Zoka? Or is it Aya? Who y'all think? Let's listen. Who do? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Who do want to be there is Aya. Aya. Aya, because Aya, Nature Boy is the best pimp Aya has ever had. Y'all understand, Aya comes from the pimping and hoeing. So, yep. yeah, basically, they have the pimp hoe mentality. And that's why she cooks and cleans and does the shit she does. Because that's the yep. best pimp she's ever had. He done went and got her out of jail when she was selling pussy and everything else. Yep. Aya, so, she views him as a pimp. But that's it. That's, oh, that's the one right there. 
That's the one. I, I, I would tell you that Zoka will leave. Efru will probably get to the point to where she leave and Malia will probably leave and Aya will be the only one standing there because she she mm -hmm. she did she did act like head into it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's no budget. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, the reason why I know that about her was because she was getting in trouble for stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? And you know, to me, that didn't make sense because I'm a grown ass woman. Don't nobody right. tell me what the fuck to do. You get so in her opinion, I is the only one that's 10 toes down for real, for real. Malia, Zoka, and Efru would leave in a heartbeat if the opportunity presented itself. Don't nobody right. tell me what the fuck to do. You get what I'm saying? Right. I don't ask nobody permission for shit. I own my all of my shit, okay? That's another thing, another reason why everybody wants to come over here. Why? Because everything is taken care of. I don't, I don't mm -hmm. want for anything. And you're not finna tell me nothing uh, uh, what the fuck to do. So with Aya, she was getting in trouble all the time over stupid shit. Like, I don't know, cooking too long. And mind you, the thing that he would do is he would berate them on these eight hour long calls. He like, sure would. And the, and the calls. Y'all, I suspected that Elihio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God, did not have the good sense God gave a goat. I suspected it, but now I know it. He up there berating these women on that jail phone on a recorded line, mind you. He berating and trying to rule them and run them. He's giving the prosecution more evidence, more evidence to prove that he is a danger to the community and a menace to society. What an idiot. He's eight hour long calls. He like, sure would. And the, and the calls, and mind you, I heard the calls every single day because it was always on speaker. And mm -hmm. um, mind you, I told you it was times we, him and I would break off and talk, you know. Um, and there would be mm -hmm. some times where I would sit in with them, you know. And the thing is, he had a schedule. So from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., that's when he would be on the phone with them. And then from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. That was every day, that's, all day. Um, all day. And the jails have recorded all those conversations. All of them. All of them. Mm -hmm. All of them. So, mind you, I'm like, I'm constantly telling them, like, y'all, just know, like, we, we, we can't do that. Like, <laughs> that's mm -hmm. going against, I'm, I'm the person with the, I'm the person that got legal battles. You get what I'm saying? I'm still dealing with a case right now. You get what I'm saying? So I'm telling them the that right thing be. to do and what not, and what not to do. Cause y'all don't know nothing about it. You're talking mm -hmm. to somebody that does. And I just let them at that point, I just let them fucking, I, 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 what the comment no. say, hang, hang himself. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. can't nobody tell you shit and can't nobody tell them shit either. So I felt like, okay, since everybody <clears throat> knows it all, since everybody has all the answers, go figure it out somewhere else. Cause this shit is mm -hmm. this, this I, I don't I don't want to do this. I'm not I'm not helping anybody. At this point, y'all just use me for room and board. And the thing that pisses me off about it is all of us, all four of us, well, five of us, including myself, we all sat down, me and me and the ladies, we sat down and we said, regardless of how this go, because they knew what he was doing was kind of messing up what they had going on with me. And mm -hmm. we made like a little pack, like a little promise, like no matter what happens, we always going to stay close. And the thing is, it really hurt my feelings because that's not where the, that's not what the fuck happened. You get what I'm saying? And mind you, I'll get to that part later, but <laughs> all the tea, Cherry, just from everything from true leaving to this and that, mind you, true used to come over my house every single day. Right. And he came over my house every day because he had to drop off the groceries. He had to drop off the water, the lottery tickets. So I was there the day that. Wait a minute, said, lottery ticket? Yeah. What do we need lottery, yeah, what do we need no, lottery no, no, tickets no, no, for? Because he, Nature Boy was saying he was going to win the lottery, remember? Sure right did. At the end of that three <laughs> shit, they were saying that he going he saying he was going to win the lottery. I remember. Y'all, that gentleman that you guys hear is fluid in motion or fluid motion, something to that effect. He's He knows Nature Boy, too, and he's going to kind of dip in with his information as far as what he knows about the situation. So that's the gentleman's voice that you hear.
Right yeah. at the end of that three <laughs> shit, they was saying that he going he saying he was gonna win the lottery. I remember that shit. <laughs> they was actually sure buying did. a lottery. <laughs> sure did. And and guess what? True bought one every day. Brought one every day. And and guess how they bought him in threes. So he bring the little three. I sometimes I <laughs> I come to my kitchen, getting off work, and I see True pulling up with the tickets and the water and everything in his hand, trying to make it to the porch. I just be like, God, child, help him. <laughs> right. But the, right. But the thing is, what's so crazy is the day that True said, fuck this shit, I will <laughs> never forget that fucking day because me and him was talking because he had to take me to AutoZone real quick to get something for my car. And he was helping me. Y'all listen up. She's about to let us know how Aaron, a.k.a. True, left and give you a little bit of reason why he left. The auto zone real quick to get something from my car. And he was helping me with my car. Mm -hmm. Me and True got cool, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, right. shit, you, right. you actually cool as fuck. Like, every, how he acts online, y'all, that is not how he acts. That man is goofy as fuck. He laughs. He's right. cracking jokes. Like, he, he's actually a really, really cool dude. And it was crazy because... um. It was the day that he had to go get Zoka from the motherfucking airport. Both of us was heated. Me and him. We like, what do you, we like, what do you mean Zoka coming back? Why, why, why? And True said, mm -hmm. you know what? I'm so sick of this shit. And, and, and I'm so sick of everybody. And, and, and this back and forth shit, I don't want to do with none of it. He ended up calling them. He, he didn't even call him. He had sent him a text message. And he was just like, listen, the car is over here. <laughs> it was by the car wash by my house. He's like, the car's at the car wash. The food stamp cards are in the glove department. And the key is here. And he, and he blocked all of them. Y'all, Aaron, a.k.a. True, was done. You hear me? He blocked Yo. all of them. Everybody. So, mind you, he gets on the phone. Nature Boy gets on the phone. He's freaking out. He's like... <sighs> Imani, I don't know what happened to True. We don't have any more money. I don't right. know what to do. He just started, and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. You would think he is like my little big brother at this point because I had to hear hear him every day. Imani, Imani, put Imani on the phone. Imani. I just used to be like, oh my God, you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Annoying. Worrisome, child. Worrisome. Mm -hmm. And you know what's so funny about that? That's why him, he would always make jokes. He'd be like, yeah, I mean, because, you know, you, you could have always come with me, but you don't want to do that. He makes jokes about that all the time because he knows I would have never, ever, ever fit in the motherfucking program or the code. He knew for a fact. No, no. He gonna tell the ladies, no, you know, we have the same birth chart, so she's really the female means, you know, no. Y'all don't, y'all don't, y'all not gonna handle it. And I just used to be like, I wasn't doing it anyway. It really don't matter, but that just used to be our little inside joke. Yeah. Okay, so I have another question. Mm -hmm. I believe the stories got mixed up with when they lived with Cookie's house and when they lived in your house. Who house was it that they that uh had the tent malia Mal no 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 that malia and zoka got into a fist fight at oh it wasn't no fucking fist fight what happened was what happened was i came home from work one yes, day now y'all know i know what she's gonna say right y'all need to pay close attention to this fuckery right here this is crazy Listen, I came home from work one yes, day. Mm -hmm. I, I, I came home from work one day and I um, I put my stuff down. My daughter ran in to go get her stuff and she came running outside and she was like, mommy, what's wrong with Mama Zoka? And I was like, what are you talking about? Oh, they were perfect with the kids. I, I, will, I will give them that. They were perfect Ooh. with the kids. You could tell that they won't they want children and wanted children around. I mean, they was, you would think the kids was nature boy. They was hand to foot. I told them, no, 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 don't do all that. Cause mommy don't do yeah, it. They and do. I, don't, I, don't need this, I don't need you to keep that up. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah they <laughs> love children. That's very oh, true. Yes. They love the kids. But the thing, she came out, she was like, she was like, what's wrong with Mama Zoka? And I was like, what are you talking about? She was like, she's staring in the sky. And I'm like, <laughs> Okay, so I get on my car. 
I go in my house, girl, they got they got fucking Zoka standing in the motherfucking corner. So mm -hmm. you know I went I went with that. Yes, y'all heard that right. They had Zoka on punishment in this lady house standing in the corner. Zoka standing in the motherfucking corner. So mm -hmm. you know I wasn't I wasn't with that shit at all. You know what I'm saying? Right. The moment I realized that's what she was doing, I did not knock on their door, none of that. I opened the door and I said, What the fuck is this? And, and they all looked look at me. Stupid. Yeah, Malia looked at me like you talking about Zoka? I'm like, yeah. I told her, I said, listen, this can't happen up in here. I said, this, right. this can't happen up in here. I said, this number like one, some it's alien space I, I... type shit, man. What the fuck? <laughs> <you literally>... <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see what I'm talking um, about? As to how they yeah, make it theirs, yeah. like they can just do shit like that. Uh, what you say, Fluid? <laughs> Wait a minute. We laughing, girl. We laughing. Go ahead. Finish telling the story. Finish telling the story. Okay. So, so you said I she was that. staring in the sky. <laughs> right. So I'm like, I like I said, I told, I said this, this, this can't happen here. I said not only is the kids up in here, I'm not with that kind of shit in my house, like at all whatsoever. So Zoka turned around and she was looking all like, oh my god, thank you. You get what I'm saying? Right. And she went in the room. But I know they probably put her ass in a fucking corner in the room. I don't know. But all I know is Alihio had got on the phone, right? Mind you. Uh -huh. uh, Aya comes up to me. She like, she like, uh, Poppy wants to talk to you. And so I get on the phone. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like what's up, bro? Like, what's right. going on, G? What's going on, G? What's up? He like, I just want to say sorry for um um that little situation of Zoka standing in the corner. That'll never happen ever again. Um, yeah, I know that's kind of weird and, you know, I, I just want to say sorry and yeah, that won't be happening in your, in, in your house because mind you, I went the fuck off on them. So I know, and mm -hmm. I, I know for a fact they had went and told, you get what I'm saying? Like she went crazy about that shit. Like we can't do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So right. it was just certain little things that I had to break away, like certain habits. For example, I remember one time I had came home and. I heard Alihio like all in my house. Like, y'all, she came home and Alihio Bishop, aka Nature Boy, aka Three Guy, was playing and surround sound in her house. <laughs> Alihio like all in my house. Like, just his voice. Like, I just heard him. And I'm like, what the speakers, the fuck is the going? speakers. I'm like, what the fuck is this? So they I listening? asked him again. Girl, I asked him again. I said, Okay, listen. <laughs> oh, cause that hold on, that brings me back to a whole nother point. Uh, this, this, this brings Thank me back you, to baby. a whole nother point, Miss Sherry. When they had first moved in, mind you, I had told them, I'm like, yeah, y'all, y'all little area. I know y'all like to decorate and stuff like that. You could decorate it, no problem. Woo -woo. I'll see y'all later. I'm going to work. Bye. Right? Right, right. Girl, why the fuck I come home? They got the picture of Alihio standing behind the uh, fire or by my TV. They got Alihio pictures by the by the motherfucking uh fireplace. They got them on the refrigerator. I said, okay. Ha! I said, what the fuck is going on here? I told him, I said, Death hey. Shrine. <laughs> I said, hey, listen. I said, yeah, I, we can't do this. <laughs> like, right. I, I killed the we can't do this with them i'm like yeah we're not doing that i'm like you can put that right. in your room that you pay for right. and i was like but not around my house and i was like yeah we just like to see poppy everywhere and then i was like yeah you're you're poppy not mine the fuck i'm like i thought i said my kids will come in the house like who, what, what's happening who is this like you don't even got right. pictures of our daddy uh but you you know what i'm saying you you got pictures right. of him like what? <laughs> so listen, right. they collected all their little things and they put it back into the room. You get what I'm saying? So I'm like, it, it was just, that's what I mean when I would say like, when they come into people's house, you get what I'm saying? They don't come in as guests. You get what I'm saying? Like, even when I go to my grandparents' house, I come in as a guest. I put my... Y'all, I would have flipped the hell out. That lady is really kind and really calm and cool and collective. No, I would have threw all that shit, all the pictures would have went straight in the trash. Yes, ma'am. In the garbage. House. 
I come in as a guest. I put my things where they're supposed to go. I go in the kitchen at the time that I'm supposed to. You know what I mean? Like, it's just certain things. No, they they like, look, we're here. Ugh, this is how it looks. This is how it's going to be. This is what we're going to mm -hmm. eat. This is what the refrigerator is going to look like. And I just have to come in and let them know, no, 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 no. This is what it's going to look like. This is what it's going to be. And this is how it was before you got here. So just stop. <laughs> you I, know got, what I'm I, I got a question. I got a question. There was a video that I seen with Malia saying, um, everybody's going to worship him. You guys are going to rub his feet, rub his back, and you're going to like it. But I love you, though. Did they ever tell you that you you had to worship him or you were going to worship him? Girl, and rub his feet his back? Girl, no the fuck. They did not even have, <laughs> girl, they didn't even play with me like that. We didn't have no conversations about joining, being, uh, Hold on, y'all. She coming back. Go ahead. I was saying, um, if there was to be a situation to where, like, something happened to where either I was joining the cult, going to be a part of it, or I messed around with Eligio like that Nelly girl did and got, you know, beat up and stood in a circle. You know, mind you, this one went how it went. The only reason why it went the way that it went is because Everybody treated each other. We treated each other like family. We didn't treat each mm -hmm. other like love prospects or I would sleep with this person or do this with this person. And that's the only reason why we were able to have our 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 friendship as long as we did. No, no, no. And if I did, then I would say it. Um, but, but it ain't never their business, man. Like people be asking some weird questions. But it, it, weird. And you know that's irrelevant. But the thing is, you know if that if that would have happened, I would have said that's the first thing. You know what I'm saying? I would have said that first. But that's why right. I keep explaining. This was a family slash platonic kind of relationship, and it it, it was never nothing with me and him. It was me and them, them as a whole. Well, hold on. Okay, there we go. All right, y'all. I hope y'all are enjoying this video as well as my commentary. Go ahead and smash that like button if you're in here. Smash the heck out of that like button. It's about to get real good. And mind you, if that would have happened, you know Nature Boy, Nature Boy names everybody that he sleeps oh, with. Okay. He talks about everybody that he sleeps with. He talks about yeah, she... everybody that he sleeps with. You've never right. heard me, baby. <laughs> For clarification reasons, she said she only helped because Nature Boy was like her homeboy and she felt for the women. So she only helped because of the women. That was it. She felt bad for them. She had to think about it first and then she agreed to help them because they burned their bridge with Cookie. They couldn't go back to Cookies. They had nobody else that they can go to in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. But let me clarify this. When Elysio got arrested... Mm -hmm. I even felt mm -hmm. bad for them. I was moving out of my apartment in Vegas back to California. I mm -hmm. called them because I had their number. Mm -hmm. And I told them, and I talked to True. I said, True, I got an apartment in Vegas. Y'all can have it. Y'all just got to pay the rent. They said, mm -hmm. we cannot be that far away from him. Vegas yep. is too far. Thank you, but no thank you. Yep. And that's yep. what drop, that's what they said. OG, OG, and guess real, what? Real, and you know why they also chose my oh, area? Is because okay. I'm ten minutes Go away ahead. from the jail. Right. I'm ten minutes away from the jail. You get what I'm saying? So for them, they didn't know how it was gonna go. They didn't think it was gonna stretch out this far. Because mind you, when they come to my house, they came in August. So when we going all the way into November. You get what I'm saying? And he kept saying like, oh, yeah, well, you know, it's, it's just because I'm about to get out. I'm about to get out. I'm about to get out. So I kept asking them. I was like, how much more time do y'all think y'all need? And mm -hmm. they were under the impression that they were going to stay with me until he got out. And that's Wait where we. No, 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 no. Yes, ma'am. And that's where we. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, baby. Because I'm I'm going to tell you what 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 everybody else was told. Everybody else was told that. Brandon Keys was supposed to be getting them an apartment. Oh, girl, please. Brandon is the one who called me because Brandon, back in the day when I did fuck with Bigo, was my agency owner. And I'm the person that called him and said, this is where they at. 
And he was like, oh, 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 okay, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing because I don't want it to be out there and this and that and this and that. I said, Brandon, mm -hmm. if I wanted to say something, I probably would have said something in August. It's October. Like, let's be honest. I told him, I said, you need to have a conversation with him because it's getting to the point to where it's too much. So me and Brandon, mm -hmm. we kept going back and forth. And you remember when he did that live? You remember when um, the women was, it, they was on Brandon live and uh, Nature Boy kept saying, yeah, if it wasn't for keys, we would be homeless right now. If right. it wasn't for keys. Wake that up. You want to know why he said Wake that? that up. Know why he said Go that? ahead. He said, Go ahead. He said that because I had to work, he, I had to work, not I, Brandon had to work out a deal with me for me to allow them to stay there longer. Because right. I, I, I was done. You get what I'm saying? And Brandon begged right. me, he like, listen, he like, Imani, just, just give me, just give me about three more weeks. Give me three, but three more weeks. I'll pay you myself. You get what I'm saying? Give me three more weeks. I'm just saying, did he pay you? like, oh, he did. And that's why I respect okay. Brandon. Because Brandon, Brandon, definitely one thing can't nobody take away from him when it comes to certain people. I'm not gonna say he mm -hmm. like this with everybody, but he definitely right. keeps his word. He definitely keeps his word, and if he looking out for you, Brandon gonna look out for you for real, for real. So, mind you, me and Brandon had a relationship before me and Nature Boy had a friendship. You get what I'm saying? So, right, mind you, and you gotta understand also. I'm I'm very close to these men also for different money reasons. You know what I'm saying? Like Miss Cherry, I know you're mm -hmm. very familiar with that. You're a woman that makes <laughs> that makes money and you didn't been you you know how all the men they they like, oh that's the cool one. Yeah, yeah. She know how to get yeah. you money. Oh, we're friends. Yeah. That's the right. only reason why I became close with them like that. Right. I get it. I get it, girl. For those of you who do not know, Brandon Keys is actually a Bigo personality. He has an agency on Bigo, and he's a good friend of Nature Boy, aka Elihio Bishop, aka Three God. So he's been helping them out as much as he can while Nature Boy has been incarcerated. And he's not to be mistaken with the guy Keys that gave him the 300K. These are two different people. Right. I get it. I get it, girl. So he helped you with them for a couple more weeks. So he paid for a couple more weeks. Now, mm -hmm. once that happened, mm -hmm. once that took place, mm -hmm. um, they went to what we call a weekly after that, correct? No. You know where they went, girl? They went to... Uh, <laughs> It's this little Salvation Army place that's around the corner. Oh, you're talking is. about the shelter. Okay, they went to mm -hmm. the shelter. And then mm -hmm. after the shelter, they went to the weekly. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah, because I have a video of Zoka at the shelter. Yep. And from there on then, that's the thing. See, listen, this is why he never wanted them to leave. And why you get what I'm saying? Brandon didn't want them to leave. No, they didn't want to leave. It's because ever since they left my house, They've been moving like nomads. They from place to place to place to place to place. Yeah. Where if yeah. everybody, if everybody could have just came to an agreement and Nature Boy wasn't trying to control shit from a jail cell, they would still be here till today. And nobody right. would still not know where they at. Right. Because that's just how I hold it down. All them times right. that y'all saw them in the backyard and y'all saw them in the tent, that's my house. Those are my right. tents. Right. Where they thought it was Cookie's house, it was actually your house. It was my house. Right. So they were going live. So that room with ever? all those decorations and all those plants uh -huh. and all those flowers, that's my room. Okay, so was there ever at any time that you seen them physically get into an altercation or a fight? Um, no. I heard, I heard something, maybe like an aftermath no, or something. Mm -hmm. I heard um, something like an aftermath or something, but no, nah, I never seen them put their hands on each other. And um, Korea's teeth, I'm not revealing anything. This is a conversation. <laughs> Who's Korea's teeth? Why are you revealing now? She's already talked about this, honestly. Right. To be honest, exactly. this is not nothing new. She's already talked about it. She was on um, some other people's panels. I've seen the video. 
So, it was, I yeah. think it was Ty, it was Ty and Wu Fairy. Right. Was and it, I don't talk him? to neither one of them bitches. Okay, never mind. It was it was nobody. <laughs> right. Because I'm sure they were sitting up talking about me like that's who they were talking about. They were talking about me like a dog. That's who they were sitting oh, up talking about. Oh, yeah. I haven't caught that tea. But uh, at least I know now. Shit, it's not no motherfucking tea. It's just right. bitches wearing they motherfucking dick suckers, but we're going to keep it pushing. Uh-huh. Anyways, like I was saying, yeah. So, but you had been in my life previously before that. And yeah. you had said something to me once upon a time. And then after that, you know, um, you never had, I don't know if I had seen you again after that or not, but I know, yeah, right. Facts. Yeah. So anyways, so you never seen them get into an altercation or a problem. It was just really him that kind of forced them to act a certain way in which caused you to say, you yeah. know what, I'm just tired. Y'all got to go. Yeah. Yeah. And it really wasn't, it really, it, 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 it really was an argument between me and him, you know, um, because I had left the house for like three, four days. Right. Oh my goodness. Y'all please listen to this. Like get your listening ears on right now. And I think that made him uncomfortable, but that's not my problem. I'm grown. I can go where I want to go. And I can do what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? But I think he felt uncomfortable for the safety of the ladies or whatever. I don't know. But Aya ends up calling me um, on my phone while I'm at the hotel with my mama and them. And um, she like, Poppy on the phone. I'm like, oh my God, what? So I'm like, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm like, what's up, bro? And he's like, yeah, so what's been going on? I, I heard you haven't been at the house for the past four days. And I was like, and I haven't. What, what, what's the issue? He like, I don't know how you moving, man. You moving real funny. You moving real funny. You get what I'm, You know how he talk, girl. I'm like, no, I'm not moving like anything. I'm like, what are y'all going to do? Like, what is the plan? Can we talk about that? He's like, the plan is we're going to stay here and we're going to stay here until it's about time for me to get ready to get out. I said, okay, see, this is where you got the game fucked up. You're not going to tell me what you're going to do, okay? And then that's when me and him went back and forth. And, and girl, by the time I told him, I said, you can play with me if you want to. You already know what I got on me. And I told him, I said, don't worry about it. I'm on my way. And I hung up the phone, right? Because mind you, I have... Y'all, what y'all think happened when she went off on Nature Boy and let him know that she was on her way to her house and not to worry about it because he already know what she packing. She got her little pum pum. So what y'all think happened? And I hung up the phone, right? Because mind you, I had left Mm -hmm. him at the crib. So I told him, I said, don't Mm -hmm. worry about it. I'm on my way. Girl, by the time I got here, girl, both them cars was gone. Mm. They got the fuck because they already knew. Like, don't worry so are you do you talk to any of them at this point in time no after they had left that day um aya zoka and mind you i got aya number zoka number every number and malia number um they they all blocked me at the same time wow and i know for a fact that was an order i know for a fact that was an order i know Uh, so you're still blocked at this current moment Girl, I ain't try to call him. I I ain't try to I ain't try to call him, but I'm gonna tell you who I got the closest with, and that would definitely be Efru. Yeah, that, that would definitely be Efru. Efru, Efru, Efru is a sweetheart. Bother, uh, Jackie, bother for what? I have no, my I don't car. Think I have my house. Me. <laughs> I have my yeah, kids. <laughs> I have my bank account. What 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 what, what would I be bothered about? Right. Well, I know Jax was driving um, a car day before yesterday. I don't know whose car it was, but I know it wasn't him. Yeah, no, the the car that I'm talking <laughs> about is um, the car that's... Uh, the Infinity? That yeah, the Infinity. They had the Infinity, and then um, they had his friend, uh, like Tahoe or something like that. Didn't the Infinity come get picked up? No, no, I didn't. The Infinity and the Tahoe was in my driveway the entire time. No, I'm talking about after that. They don't have that Infinity no more. Oh, girl, I don't know. I don't know what they got now. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm I'm telling extra business, girl. But I'm not surprised though. 
because I mean, they they really didn't want to move the the car from my house. You know what I'm saying? They they knew it wasn't gonna be found over here. So yeah, you know, Juju's back in jail, Yaki. Mm-hmm. So and just so you guys know, this is a very recent interview. It was actually conducted on July 17th. I'm just now getting around to editing. So, I mean, I just feel like, um, listen, at, at this point, they can't be helped and neither can he. Everybody feel like, you know, since they got their degrees, they got the answers or whatever. You know what I'm saying? The whole time, don't right. nobody got the answers to shit. Right. They all scrambling. They all stressed out. And you know one thing that kind of pissed me off a little bit too? I'm not going to lie to you. See, um, here, in, here in Atlanta, we got this place mm -hmm. called Ros uh, Roswell Mills. It's like a big waterfall. They got the Chattahoochee River where you could go tubing. It's a lot of outside nature things, you get what I'm saying, to do here. And I take my children on, you know, those kind of, you know, adventures and escapades and stuff like that. And I remember one day, well, it was twice. I remember one day I wanted them to come to the mills because I'm like, y'all, y'all like waterfalls and shit. Y'all, we all like the same thing. Of course, we connected when it came to nature. That's what made us all close in the beginning, obviously. Um, but I had told them, I'm like, yeah, like we, you all should come with me. And the response I got was just so it weird. Didn't, it didn't like, it didn't resonate with me. Um, they told me like, oh no, we can't go anywhere. Like we, we would love to Imani, but y'all wait, y'all just wait till y'all hear what their reasoning was behind not being able to go to this nature park or going on any excursions with her like we we would love to imani but we can't go anywhere and when i asked them what they meant by that you this is what lie. was disturbing to me miss cherry when i asked them what they meant by that mm -hmm. malia says since poppy is in jail we're in jail too right and that's what the, he wants them to suffer right along with him and also too did y'all hear that BS? Because Poppy is in jail, they're in jail too. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> Run it back if you didn't hear it. Um, They were at your house when this comment was made. They were on live. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. Effort was like, yeah, we ride or dies. I don't know if you were at home, you might've been gone, but they were like, yep, we ride or dies, we ride or dies. What does the word ride or die mean? That means we ride or we die. So whatever happens with him happens to us. I asked her, I said, so if something happens to him, are you guys going to off yourselves? And her answer was, she got swarmy and said, what does the word ride or die mean? Did you Girl. know they had a suicide pact? Girl, I know they had a suicide pact. They had an end it all pact. They had uh, yeah, just just anything that has anything to drive themselves through the fucking mud when it comes to him. And that's now that's sad. That is truly sad. They're so young. They could actually turn their lives around and really do something with themselves. But instead, they're sitting there doing a bid, literally, with their man. I guess this is the best episode of anything for my man. Y'all ever saw that show? Through the fucking mud when it comes to him. And that's one thing I couldn't get with because I had to tell them and I had to break it down to Malia. I said, well, the reason why that's not going to work in my house is because my house is in jail. So that energy mm -hmm. and that frequency that y'all trying to be on in my house it's causing my house to feel like doom and gloom when really it's very light and lively over here. We play music, we have dance parties, all kinds of crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like you're, you're, right. you're, we're, I told her we're not in jail. So right. with that being said, like I, I don't, y'all can continue with that on, but that's, that's not how I'm moving my program. Then it was a second right. time. So. There was a mm -hmm. second time where we was getting ready, I was getting ready to go grocery shopping. And I wanted to go so bad. Like she she was like, um, you know, you want me, oh my God. She was just like, do you want to do this? You want to come with me? You want like she was just super excited and she really, really wanted to go, right? So she told me she was like, hold on one second, I'm about to, you know, go ask Queen if it's okay. Right? 
Mm -hmm. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, mind you, that's one of the moments where I don't get it because I'm grown. <laughs> so I'm like, right. all right, I'll wait for you. Girl, she came outside. And when she came outside, girl, she looked so sad. And she was like, I can't go. Queen said no. Why did and she say like, no? I don't know. I don't know. But I had a. Oh, gee. OG, you keep coming up by accident. Okay, go ahead. Um, I was just so confused because I just felt like, I, uh, you're older than Malia. Like, what do you mean you're asking her if you can go to the store? And I looked at her, I was like, Aya, come on. You get what I'm saying? Like, let's go to the damn store. We just going to the store. She's like, no, no, I can't. I was like, all right, Aya. You know what I'm saying? Like, and see, that's what I'm saying. Those would be the times where I would just kind of slightly yeah. lose, lose my patience with them because it's like, I'm trying to live normal and y'all making it as not normal as possible. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you're making right. the situation uncomfortable when really it could have just been regular and they would still be here. That's crazy. So, Malia, why did Malia, what was Malia's reason for saying no? Did you go ask Malia? No, I didn't go ask Malia because I didn't feel like, I, 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 I didn't even feel like engaging at that point. I just wanted to go to the right. store. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, got a, I got another question. Did you ever experience them having to listen to him and surround sound? Girl, yeah, but they got told to turn that all the way down. Yeah, That's they're supposed to listen about. to him. So the, the instructions are that they're supposed to listen to him every day, all his lessons in surround sound or either in their earplugs, and they are to repeatedly hear yeah. that. That's to keep him under his spell. Yeah, and guess what? You want to know what else? Y'all, this is some crazy shit. Elihio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God, is really running his coat from DeKalb County Jail on a recorded line. I'm going to say it again. He's an idiot. Him under his spell. Yeah, and guess what? You want to know what else? And when um, I, we was all in the living room together. Now, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell, tell you two things. Okay, we was all in the living room together. It was me, Ephra, um, Zoka and Aya. And we was in the living room together and I was showing them 60 days in. <laughs> uh-huh. And supposedly they wasn't supposed to watch that, right? But right. they was like, oh, it's okay because we need to know what Poppy's going through. <laughs> right, right, so, right. I, I don't even mean to laugh, but uh, it's not funny. But anyway, um they were they we were like probably I say like 10 minutes into it. Right. And I think Malia had got up to go to the bathroom or something mm -hmm. like that. And so I think she kind of like caught a whiff of it. And then she got on the walkie when she went back in the room and she was like, report. Right. So <laughs> they all got up and they went to the room. And girl, I came out, all I know is I came out maybe like 30 minutes later. I came out and she was like, we're not allowed to watch any movies or anything that is not dealing with poppy wow no movies no tv shows no news channels unless it's him on the youtube channel or him speaking or something like that they cannot watch it or listen to it mm -hmm. hey tequila um wow me, me and malia got into it at the end hey mona scott damn what did you guys get into it about i'm surprised she bucked back I wish somebody would be staying with me and I have to get on them or get into anything with them. No, it'll be all the way fucking turned up. I'd be on 10. Don't play with me. What about? I'm surprised she bucked back. Um, we got into it because. How, how did it really start? We got into it because, oh, we they was on the phone. This was like towards like a couple of days before it was time for them to leave, right? They was mm -hmm. on the phone and they was, hey, and they, I was talking to Malia. Like I had a conversation 
with Malia about something, right? Oh, mm. oh no, this is what happened. This is what happened. Mind you, I have a walk-in closet in the room that I let them stay in, right? Mind you, mm -hmm. um, mind you, the majority of my stuff was in there. So um, every now and then, like I would have to pull things, but not that much. I had, mm -hmm. um, it was a certain situation and I really, I really, really can't recall it. I think it'll come up to me, but I needed to talk to Malia about it, right? So I knocked on the door and I, I asked Malia, I was like, hey, I, I need to speak with you real quick, right? Mind you, she steps out of the room as if like, you can't come in here type thing, right? And was like, okay, what? we can talk right here. We could talk right here in front of the door. Right. And like close the door behind her. And I'm like, don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't don't worry about right. it. That rubbed me really, really wrong. I'm not gonna lie. I know it did. It, it, it rubbed me really, really wrong. So I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna worry about it. Mind you, I've come back into the house or whatever after doing whatever it is that I need to do. And I was in my kitchen and I heard Malia in there fucking wolfing. So the lady's like, oh, yeah. And I told her that um, you should never speak to me like that because something, something, some girl just going in about me. Just lying. Me lying like she checked me. To the other, so that the other women can feel like, yeah, you're right, Queen Malia. You're, you are the boss. We all have to, you get what I'm saying? Y'all see where I'm from and where I grew up, if a chick was like fronting like she punked me, what? Them is fighting? That's a fighting situation. You supposed to go ahead and let her prove it in front of her little fuck ass friends. Talking about she she told her this and told I would have beat Malia's ass in my house. I'm sorry, y'all. And if I would if it would have been a jump situation, I've been jumped before. I would have fought all four of them motherfuckers. Can feel like yeah, you're right, Queen Malia. You you are the boss. We all have to. You get what I'm saying? Like some crazy shit right. like that. When I tell you, Miss Sherry, <laughs> it went on for 10 minutes. When I tell you on that 11th minute, I slammed that fucking door open so quick. I thought to see what you're not going to do is play with me in my fucking house. All you right. got to get y'all and get the fuck out right now. Now I'm not being nice about it. Now what? Malia going to get wow. the spark of yelling. You get what I'm saying? Talk about some. No, don't come like that because I have never disrespected you. I have never disrespected you. I, girl, girl, like, you get what I'm saying? Getting loud. So I told her, I said, are you yelling? Are you yelling? You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You yelling in my house? Girl. And what did, she, what did it, Afro it got to, standing there look stupid? I don't know Afro was looking girl, stupid like, oh shit. <laughs> girl, they was standing there looking, looking like, I don't know what's going to happen. How about that? Right. Because people could, they they really see the thing about me, especially, you know, I'm a Sagittarius. I'm very, very like bubbly and fun and all that stuff for the most part until you really piss me off. And the thing is, mind you, they haven't seen me in situations to where I'm really pissed off. They knew about it. They heard about it from other people. But at the end of the day, they never saw it. So you could tell the apprehensiveness once I got loud. And once I, you know what I'm saying, started letting them know, like, listen, we don't, we don't even got to do this. Either you can leave now or you can get beat up and leave. And it was so funny because I was talking to Brandon. Brandon was like, um, he was like, no, he's like, just, just be careful because it's four of them. You get what I'm saying? And I, tell, I, I said, Brandon, yeah, Is I, that what it seemed like you, I said, Brandon, you, you act like you forgot who the fuck I am. I'm like, hey, what Chef the fuck with me? It, it, it being four of them don't have nothing to do with the fuck nothing. First of all, not only is it several Glocks tucked, okay, if it ever got to that point, bitch, uh, you, you, I'm 30 years old. You don't think bitches tried to jump me before? You don't think I know how to handle myself with three, four girls? Like, get the fuck out of here. And I was not born in New Orleans and raised in Chicago. Are you dumb? I told them, don't only try me that. Yeah, make me they not up food now. savvy. They used to slapping no, no, no. each other and shit. They not used to putting up them fives, you know, Hello? one five, two five, you sure. know? Yeah, exactly. And exactly what I was coming with. On top of that, they ain't never touched no weapon in their life. When I showed them my weapons, I, oh. I felt like I was a Western. You get what I'm saying? Like, I felt like I was a cowboy. I'm like, look at this one. Right. You know? <laughs> 
they're looking at me yeah. like, how do, you even, how do you carry that? How do you even handle that? And I'm like, this is what you do. This is how you take the clip out. This is how you put it in. This is how you get right. this one out the chamber. So they already knew for a fact, baby, I don't even got to go grab that. We can handle this right here. And if it gets to the point Girl. where I got to grab it, that's when I will. So, But they ain't never tried me like that because they already know. I just don't understand, honey, how they thought somebody was going, whose ass was they going to whoop? Nobody's. Oh, no, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't consider it. The I know they didn't think that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but you know me, we, 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 we street smart. You get what I'm saying? You know, that was the first thing that came to my mind. You want to fight? <laughs> right. You want to fight, 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 fight? <laughs> what you trying to do? What you trying to do, bitch? Right. But see, the, the thing down. is, right, <laughs> the thing is, I never had no intentions, you get what I'm saying, on hurting them. It's certain people, you, I have the intention on doing that with you. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it's certain people, it's just like, that wouldn't have gave me no no, no cool points. By no, it wouldn't one have at all. It wouldn't you know have. what I'm saying? You... They lucked up on the right one because I'm telling y'all right now, don't try Jesus. Don't try me. That's all I'm going to say. Try Jesus. Don't try me. It wouldn't have gave me no cool points. That wouldn't have made me feel good about myself. You know what I'm no, saying? No. You would have felt bad people. after that. Exactly. Dragging somebody that I care about, actually have love for it, that You know what I'm saying? And that's why it never went there. Because I knew my boundaries with it. You feel me? And I was just like, you know. And they knew their boundaries, too. They was like, all right. This is where we draw. And for what people don't know about them, they will. I know they come across like, oh, yeah, they're just going to fight it out, warrior it out. No, they won't. Mm -mm. If you get to the point that's, to where you... Go ahead. That's how you know he pushed that fight between Velvet and Malia. That's how you know. Because they are not fighters. They're arguers. They're yellers. But they're not fighters. Nope. 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 And 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 that's one thing. That's one thing about Malia. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you actually get to the point to where you really finna go, like at Malia, I know everybody think Malia gone. You get what I'm saying? Fight you and stuff like that. But that's not really no. how she coming. That's not really how no. she coming. She don't get down like that. That's not a no. Yeah. But who do is Zoka. Zoka do get down like that. But she 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 little peon get down like that. You know what I'm saying? But then Zoka not gonna just pop off. I ain't never with them. She will, but with an average female, I ain't never ever. Even the girls that went over, there, I ain't never known her to just pop off. And there's a few that she didn't like. I'm not gonna call no names, but I ain't never known her just to pop off like she shit, shit. Hey, Miss D, I never known her to pop off. You know what I mean? So. Uh -huh. She not. Yeah, you from Long Beach, little girl, but. Yeah, that's not where you reside, honey. You was residing in carbonation. Exactly. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. The thing is, with her, that was another thing. Like, it's certain things with all of them as to why I wouldn't even go that far with them. Like, Zoka, hey, like, I feel like if I, if I was to, like, you know, actually handle Zoka, that's like me putting my hands on my blood, little sister. Like, what would I do that for? You know what I'm saying? Like, right. no, that, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, on top of the fact that I'm stronger than you and I'm bigger than you, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. that's just, that's lightweight shit to me. So I let her have it. You know what I'm saying? But right. she did come to me and she was like, if it makes you um feel any better, I'll just sleep outside in the tent. Like, I don't have to be in your house. And I told her, Zoka, you are a, a female. Well, you, are, you are not sleeping outside in no fucking tent. In no motherfucking tent. But Girl, a police I her, no. coming by here questioning me like I'm doing something to you. Right. I told her, like, Girl, yeah. don't. Thank you. Yeah. I told I told her, I said, that's not necessary. I told her, I said, just be easy. Like, I'm not your enemy. Yeah, I come right. the way that I come. I told her, I said, yeah, I come the way that I come, but I come the way that I come because I'm independent. I come the way that I come because I'm the motherfucker that handle everything up in here. I handle mm -hmm. the bills, the kids, and everything that falls under it. So when y'all talk to me and when you speak to me, you're going to have to Thank come to amazing. me in a, in a certain kind of mature way because if not, I'm looking at you like a little girl. Right.
Right. And they don't understand the logistics of that. Oh, somebody no. asked, did you ever let them babysit your kids? Oh, no, I don't let nobody babysit my kids. Well, there's that I, there. I don't let nobody babysit my kids. And on top of that, but, I'm, a, I'm a very active mother. So, no, I gotta, my kids I gotta, are gotta, I, Go mm -hmm. ahead. I'm going to let you finish that out. Can we get a luxury car? Because I got a good question for you right now. We can ready, we can ready to get into some things. Can we get a good luxury Y'all, that is one of the things I really cannot stand about Bigo. Whenever a host is doing an interview, they always trying to get the people in the room to run them up before they ask their question or stop in the interview abruptly to try to get some beans. I mean, I can't knock the hustle. That's the name of the game. They got to get their beans. They got to meet their quota. But damn, I can't stand it. Here and get into some things. Can we get a good luxury car up in here real quick? We're getting ready to ask some real good questions. I got a question for her. And I really want to ask this question. But I want to see if she or the women or what's, you know. So anybody got any bean beans? Let's throw them now, please. Let's go ahead. We've been sitting up here on live. We've been getting to the tea. She was nice enough to come over here and give us this tea on the women. You know, um, some of you may have heard some of the things before, but, you know, and there's some things that she's discussed that she's, you know, hasn't talked about before. So let's go ahead right. and get a few bean beans in here. You know, thank you, baby. Thank you, wow. Come on, y'all. If somebody got a luxury car, mama really need a luxury car right now. My bean count is real low, y'all. We got to get it popping. Got to get it up and popping. Now, let's get into this, and I'm going to start this off. Mm -hmm. Do you know about... No, baby, she's not. I'm, I'm a host. She's not a host, babe. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. She's not a host, baby. But you can give Miss Cherry, though, Tom Tom. Thank you. Yeah, hey, Dr. Cherry. Hey, Candace and Owens. Hey, baby. Now, did you know about anybody else that Nature Boy was messing with? Because you knew, how long did you know him, first of all? Let me ask you that. Three going on like four years. Okay. Now, so you knew him before he went to jail. Did you know about anybody else that he was messing with other than the women in Atlanta? <laughs> I know the rumors of who, who they thought he was messing with, but do you remember Fanya? I know who Fanya is. Her friend is my admin. Her friend is your admin. Okay. So Her, yeah. you know the relation you know the relationship that Fanya had with them, which was like strictly pause. I, I need you to pause. I need you to pause. Just pause really quick. Come on, y'all. I need a luxury car. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get to this tea, I need a luxury car. Run me the fuck up, or else we gonna shut it down. <laughs> Admin, do me a favor. Don't let them just sit up in here if they not gifting, or make sure they're not a gifter, a normal gifter, because I think we're getting ready to start booting people up out of here, honey. You know. Come on, y'all. Let's Thank get to it. Boring. I really don't want to kick nobody. I honestly don't want to kick nobody. But y'all, I got a quota to meet. And, you know, this is her time. This is my time. You know, so let's get to it, baby. You know, mm -hmm. everybody's happy. All in the, all's fair in love and war. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to get into Fanya in a minute. But then there's another person I want to get into, too. And then there's a trans person that I want to discuss as well. So there's three oh, people that Marcellus. I want to no, oh, no, 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 not Marcellus, baby. Not Marcellus. That's oh, too easy. Okay. That that's okay. too easy. That's too easy. That's that's too easy. Everybody know about Marcellus's team. We're gonna talk about somebody on the app. Mm. Okay, I'm here. Yep. Okay, we in super lucky mode. Y'all can play the bells, 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 or whatever super lucky gift you choose to play. Okay, let's go ahead and we're gonna start off with Fanya right now. Go ahead. Finish okay. saying what you were saying about Fanya, baby. So I wasn't saying um like no nothing nothing uh bad or anything about Fanya. I was saying do do you know their relationship like Nature Boy's relationship and the women's relationship with with her? Yes, I do. Okay, and I you do. know that it was like it was strictly platonic, 
right? Right. He never had sex. She said she never allowed him to have sex with her. Exactly. So the reason why I brought her up is because me and Fanya, we kind of have the same friendship. Like how oh. her friendship is with them, that's how my uh -huh. friendship is with them. So mind you, oh. like when they got that house and stuff like that, me and Fanya, I got pictures with Fanya too. I, I actually got videos of us all dancing in the living room. All of us. Mm. Like it was a, it was a regular thing. And that's how I also met um that's how I met Sauce Poppy and that's how I met Poppy Guru. Because what he would do is he throw these little barbecues and he would have like me come over, Fanya come over, Sauce Poppy come over, and literally all of us would just be together having fun. Nobody's having right. sex, nobody's doing nothing weird. You get what I'm saying? Well, like we, yeah, that's what we would do. So let me ask you a personal question. Are you lesbian or bisexual? Oh, no, I'm not, Miss Cherry. Okay, I'm asking for a Let reason. Wrong with because, it. no, no, no. But from my understanding, Fanya is. Yeah, Fanya is. Fanya is. Now, okay. I didn't say me and Fanya are the same. I said we had the same little kind of friendship going oh. on because you know they're dynamic. So now y'all know why Nature Boy wasn't sleeping with Fanya because she likes ladies. Yeah. Yeah, and she, mind you, before Fanya, y'all started seeing Fanya in dresses and stuff like that. Fanya did not dress like that. On top of the nope. fact that Fanya knows my little sister because her and my little sister, um, they both went to college around the same time. So, mind mm -hmm. you, all of us was connected in a weird way. You get what I'm saying? Right. Like, the, the, the link up or the meet up, it was going to happen regardless. Right. Now, really quickly before we get into the other person. Did you hear anything about um, Efru sleeping with Sauce Poppy? I don't think that's true. That is not true. That's not true. Well, it was she. Had, she didn't admit it. Let me be but, quiet. But, she but didn't but admit how? it, but it was it was admitted. Nature but Boy allowed Mary. it. Oh, oh so allowed this it? was a, this was an order. Thank you. Yes, he allowed it. Oh. Just like he ordered her to sleep with a few other people. And I'm going to say this. The interviewer, Miss Cherry, she is a very credible source of carbonation information. She knows what she's talking about. And I would say 99.9% .9 of certainty that did indeed happen. And Eligio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God, more than likely ordered Eferu to sleep with Sauce Poppy. It, oh. Just like he ordered her to sleep with a few other people. Ah, uh, no, I ain't know about that order. Mm -hmm. I ain't know about that one. And you know, Miss Cherry, you know, I'm very she was the go-to. Yeah, I know that for a fact. That's not even nowhere near live. She, he was on live and ordered her to go upstairs and fuck um Caliber in front of everybody. He said, "Go get that nigga some pussy right now. He deserves it." Yep. Yep. Now yeah. I do remember. She was the go to yep, for the I, head and the coochie. Yep. Yes. I do remember that. I definitely remember that one. Okay. Can y'all? Yeah. So, from my understanding, it was an order. I don't know if it was, you know, pay cooch or not. I don't know. <laughs> but I, from my understanding, yes, it was definitely an order now. Yes. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Let's get some bean beans going in here. We just getting the tea started. We just getting the tea started. Okay, so we're going to move on. Let me see. Do we want to talk about the train? Let's talk about the other lady. Do you know about the other? Do you know about any other lady that Nature Boy was messing with that moved from the West Coast to Atlanta who he was messing with? Um, Outside of Nelly and that thick girl. No, I forgot the girl what thick, name. Wait, wait, wait. What, what thick girl? Damn, I forgot her name. The light skinned one with the short hair. Remember, they she was staying with them for a little minute too, and then she got kicked out. Oh, you talking about the sister? Not, you talking no, about I'm the not sister? talking about the sister. No, I'm not talking about the sister. Damn. What oh, the you fuck talking about um Donna? You talking about Ladonna? 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 The light skinned one? Yes, 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 yes. Outside of Ladonna and Nelly, no. Okay, but the so you sister don't know was kind of crazy though. Else. I met I met the sister a uh, uh, a lot of times. I I've been around her a lot of times. She yeah she she, of... she got mental issues. Yeah, she does. Yeah, they she really do. They brought her at a shelter. She really do, and she real 
it was something about and that was one thing I you know what I'm saying oh I don't know I thought their relationship was really weird that's not his real sister right that's right. not his real sister yeah his supposedly real they had a shelter or something like that you know what to be honest they was living in the same shelter or had the same foster mom or some shit like that it was something like that she is that she, what he told she, y'all? Told, she told me the story but the thing is I don't I didn't really believe it because I remember when I had first met her I mm. had heard from different people in the camp that she had slept with him and they were sleeping together Bingo. she slept with him a couple of times mm-hmm. yes so that's so, how he got her to do what he needed her to do the Airbnb exactly. and shit exactly and that's how they got that house to be honest that's how they and got it, the house the house mm-hmm. in her name and he politely easily Manipulated her into moving herself out, and they stayed at that house. Yep, in that that's shit? exactly what happened. And listen, but listen, didn't I just describe to you? Didn't I just tell you how they come into people's house, make it their own? You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then eventually yeah. just try to get the person out. See, if I would have allowed it to go the way that it was gonna go, they would have done the same shit to me. You know right. what I'm saying? And not because, you know, but because at that moment they would have been able to. You know what I'm saying? That they did the same thing mm-hmm. with Cookie. There was times where y'all was thinking that Cookie was there and Cookie was gone. Cookie was out of town. She would mm-hmm. she would leave them there because she didn't want to be bothered. And that's why it always eventually becomes like their house. But that's why we mm-hmm. got to it the way we did because I had to let them know, bitch, you didn't help me get the shit. He ain't going to help me fucking lose it either. The fuck is you talking about? It's kids up in here. I take very, very good care of my kids. Y'all don't run shit. A fuck-ass thing. Uh, Malia, your name is Malia up in here. Ain't no queen Malia in my queen right. house that I pay bills for. The fuck are you talking about? Okay. Right. So, okay, so you don't know about the lady that, okay, we'll get into her in a minute. Do you remember the Puerto Rican lady who did the brothers, uh, what is it called? Big Brothers House with them? The one that had the Airbnb in New York? The older Puerto Rican lady? I'm telling y'all, Miss Cherry has the tea on everything and everybody. No, that's not Essence. Uh, Essence's not Puerto Rican. Essence is an African American trying to get back to the United States. She's super African. (laughs) Yeah, me and Essence talk. Yeah, but no, 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 no. Like, this is an older lady. She's Puerto Rican, <laughs> and she did the Big Brother's house with them when they had the cameras on for twenty four hours. Yeah, mm hmm, mm hmm. I the remember Puerto her. Rican lady who dressed so funny name. with the hats and shit. Yeah, I don't remember her name at all whatsoever. So she came into some money from her husband. Do y'all know? I don't know. You don't know about Nature Boy, that lady. Um. No, not cookie, not cookie, not cookie, not cookie, not cookie. You thought what was cookie's house? P Lisa? Everybody the think Airbnb? everywhere they out is cookie's house. Everybody be thinking. No. That. <laughs> the Airbnb Cookie's house is made like an old Victorian home, kinda. Yep. Sure is. Yeah, the it's house in New York. No, 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 no. The Airbnb in New York was not cookies. That was an Airbnb, but the lady does Airbnbs because she has money. This is that funny looking lady that went to the restaurant with them and didn't eat anything. She was a chunky, older looking Puerto Rican lady. She wore the hats and the little <laughs> vests and stuff. She dressed up like a character. Yep, they used to call her Mad Hatter. So she came into some money. You know, let me tell y'all something. What's up, Chico, baby? She came into some money from her husband. She had a husband that was still over in Puerto Rico. Mm-hmm. Do y'all know how much money she was giving Nature Boy? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. She worshipped and adored that man. Yep. Yep. And see, this is so, where he fuck up at. Because he be having so many good... Miss Cherry, when I say he would have so many good people in his fucking corner that really just be wanting to help, like, I was one of them. You get what I'm saying? Like, okay, look, I really help you. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. I never, I never worship your bitch ass, but I, I right. help you. You know what I'm saying? And he's come across hey, guitar, great, 
great right. people who have assets right. and things that he needed. And he 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 don't listen. He burned every fucking bridge. And it was so funny because well, when we was on the phone, we uh, when me and him was on the phone, we was talking and he told me he was like, Imani. He was like, we are the same. He was like, we just burn bridges and don't give a fuck. I said, no, that's where we're not the same because I'm very mm -hmm. strategic with the bridges that I want to burn. I just don't go around mm -hmm. burning bridges. If I burn a bridge, it's because I wanted it to be done. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you do it. And of course he laughed it out, laughed it off after I said it. I was like, you burn did. bridges. You get what I'm saying? Uh, to burn bridges. <laughs> right. So Elway, did you ever talk to Elway on the phone? No, no, no. The, I, I mean, I heard her on some calls. You get what I'm saying? Because mind you, there mm -hmm. were times that they would bring people in, like on the calls. So when when you thinking it's just uh, us and Nature Boy, it's like three other people on the phone. Wow. That they didn't click wow. in. You get what I'm saying? And I know LA, she, she, she used to be on some of the calls, but I didn't hear her towards like the, until like towards the end. Yes, Elway definitely is still his girlfriend. She's another yeah. wife, actually. And when yes. I expo, when they were coming live, okay, when they were coming live on Big O, when they were doing Big O Live, I exposed her because she was one of the admins and she came over in my live, girl, and cussed me the fuck out. Hey, Park. She was so fucking mad at me. She wanted me to take her picture. Because I had a picture up. She wanted me to take her mm -hmm. picture down, the love letters between the two of them down and everything. And I said, no. Mm. No. Right. So yeah, Elway. But okay, so we, we talked about Elway. So let's get into the lady who does the nails and hair. The dreads. Oh, the light skinned lady. Uh, what's her name? The jet Nick Chouette. No, 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 no. He wasn't messing with her, was he? Nah, I don't know about that. Was he messing with her? Nah, she could she she wasn't fucking with him. He was not no, fucking not, with not, him. No, not the dreadlock lady. His girlfriend in Vegas that moved from Vegas to motherfucking Atlanta. Girl, I don't, I can't keep up. Shit. Well, let me I tell you. I know, <laughs> I know her because I used to stay in Vegas and she did my nails a couple of times and I made it a point to make an appointment with her for her to do my nails because I wanted to be nosy. They were messing around. He was going to Vegas to go see her. Matter of fact, she was on a couple of his lives on Big O and they were downtown Vegas. Oh wow. Is that the wait a minute? Ooh, that hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Uh Kabbalah, what hold on, what new what new baby mama? Now you know now you now wait a you minute, know wait a minute, because I'm getting ready to don't 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 I'm gonna tell you something. Okay, don't don't stick your foot in your mouth because you know I know a lot of shit and what she's talking okay. about and what you're getting ready to say, don't agree with her because it's not true. So okay. I'm going to clear it up okay. real quick. Kabul, are you talking about what World News said? Because that, are you talking about what World News said? Y'all, listen up because Miss Cherry is about to drop some real hot tea. Because that, are you talking about what World News said, Kabula? Stargaze? No Stargaze. Come on, I'm going to clear it up for you. Let's go on and clear this up so y'all can understand the truth. If you heard it on Big O, you heard it from me. So which one is you talking about the three-year-old, the supposedly three-year-old, or a, a newborn baby? Uh -huh. Y'all got to tell me which one it was. Which one are you talking about is the lies for me? Because I, I need to clear this up. I'm talking I'm talk about the new, I'm talking about the new one that, wor that world tried to expose. Okay, so that document that he showed had nothing to do with a baby. That was a live document. That's the document I showed earlier that the court mm -hmm. used um, that Nature Boy put in his packet to, uh, to uh, claim sovereignty. That was just saying that Portia Wade, which is uh, Aya, and the gentleman, they both signed the document. Thank you, baby. Thank you. I see the gifts. They both signed the document, and the document uh, was just saying that he was who he said he was. So world so stupid. Did he? You so, want me to show you the document? I can pull the document up right now, but I'm getting ready to. I was getting ready to go into something else. But do you want me to show you the document? I have the whole 32-page document. 
you can if you want to, Miss Sherry. But you know what? That's why I don't watch World no more because he be so uncredible with his information, and it's really hard to listen and or watch World when he doesn't know them personally. And when you're I'm talking to somebody to like me and yourself that knows them personally, you get what I'm saying? It's uh -huh. like. It be stupid when you be hearing what comes out of his mouth because it be all assumptions. It never be facts. He okay. didn't even read the document that I was mad at him for not reading it. <laughs> I hold was. On, hold on, I'm pulling it up. Hold on, Miss Sherry. I'm not going nowhere. I just gotta uh swipe up my phone real quick, so I might be in a blind. Okay, but go I'm ahead. not going nowhere. Go okay, go ahead. Hold on, y'all. Give me a minute. Because let me shrink it just a little bit so we can all see it. Because we want to talk about babies. We're going to bring up babies who, 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 what, where, and when. Okay. Let's let her come back in. So for what the people that I was just discussing, the light-skinned lady, um, 20, her, her nickname is 24 Karat Gold or 24K. All right, y'all, get y'all listening ears on and ready. Miss Cherry about to drop that hot tea. Okay, babe, you good? You charge your phone or whatever you needed to do? Um, I had to get my squares real quick, girl. <laughs> okay, oh, let me, God. I'm gonna swap you, I'll put you in the big box again. Okay. okay. Can y'all please gift the host, gift the host, gift the host, y'all. If I can make my little bit of quota and we can keep it pushing, y'all. So, okay, so let me go ahead. Go ahead, baby. What were you saying? Did you? Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you so yeah, much. That's not even what I did it for. You know, I really wanted to help them for real. Thank you so much. Okay, baby. That was sweet. Okay, so this is the document right here that World News showed, right? Yes. It says and that's for the, name. the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I'm going to read it to you, baby. It okay. says, for the knowledge of these facts are the claim of this live life man born on 29th day, April year, 1982. It says it right here. For the knowledge of these facts mm. are with the claim of this live mm. life. Man born on 29th day, April, year 1982. For these witnesses knowledge of this, for these witnesses. And you know what, this is it's actually all done new soils Because they weren't there when he they was born. food in here and everything. Right. But it says, for these the witnesses' knowledge of this live life are with these claims of this live life birth nativity in the we city of Manhattan, that's where he was born at, State New York, County New York, is with witness by the mother, party by the name Patricia Ann Covington, that is Nature Boy's mother's name, and the father, Elysio Jr. Prada. On here it says nothing about, that's his picture, that's his fingerprint, and they took a saliva or a piece of hair. Saying that he is who he said he is, these are the two witnesses agreeing to it. This is nothing about a kid being born. At all. Just slow. Okay. Get down. So, but that's you not what I'm talking about. Too. Hey, Fluid. What I'm talking about is the young woman he was messing with that lived that lived in Las Vegas and moved to Atlanta and left her husband. Oh no, I don't know about her, Miss Cherry. I really don't know her. Okay, well, everybody else knows, they know who I'm talking about, but what a lot of people didn't know is he was still messing with her. When he posted the videos of Janae on Twitter, mm -hmm. he used to go live on Twitter, and when he was live on Twitter, he was live with her, mm. and they were talking and had a full-blown conversation, and I don't think he know that it was on live on Twitter. I didn't even know you can go live on Twitter. Me either. 
So, and that's at that time, that's when all that was exposed. Okay. Uh, then some months passed by, he goes to jail. I get messages from like, it looked like a fufu page on here. Come to find out. You said, and on Zoom? Yeah, they were on Zoom. No, me and him were on Zoom the day he got arrested, P. Lisa. That was me on Zoom with him when everybody was over there. That wasn't her. That was me. He was asking mm. to see my titty. That's, oh my God. And I told him no. Oh, he's so annoying. <laughs> right. <laughs> Why so, see, we that? haven't even. Y'all. Y'all keep listening. The tea is coming. It's coming. If I. Shit. Talking about, talking about scratching the monkey's ball. Please run me up, y'all. Come on, y'all. me no stupid shit like that. Oh, <laughs> honey, he thought, I don't know what he thought. He thought I needed my coochie scratch, but I only need a scratch by a woman, not a man. But that's another story. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Let's get some beans over here. Oh, we. Come on. We need 200 more to get to 4K. Yes. So, anyways, he was on... Um, Twitter live with her. They was talking. That's when I found out that they were still messing around. Mm. I was like, damn, I thought they stopped messing around. Her ass didn't know she was on live or didn't know mm. he was on live. They were doing a FaceTime and he had the camera pointed. Thank you, baby. Everybody touched their bags. Thank he you. had the camera pointed towards um, <clears throat> he had the camera pointed towards them. So he was doing a FaceTime call and he showed her on on Twitter live. I'm like, what the hell? So he's asking, she's asking, baby, what do you want? What is it that you want from me? Like, you know, what is it that you want? He was like, you know what it is I want. She was like, well, I already done did X, Y, and Z for you. You know, she was like, I told you I'd be over there to see you or you could come see me after I get off work. I'm like, I thought your ass was in motherfucking um, Vegas still. Cause I knew who she was. Oh no, baby, she hopped up and moved her motherfucking ass with her husband that she was married to at the time to Atlanta. The husband didn't even know. She didn't know she was being. Uh, uh, she didn't know she was on a live. She didn't know she was live, and that people were watching her. Wow. Because he had her on Facetime. They were iPhone to iPhone, and the only reason why we or whoever seen that and caught that. Only reason why we could see it is because he was showing her face. His back was turned towards the camera and he was showing her face. Meaning that the the the, the part that he was looking at was facing towards whatever camera he had that he was going live on or whatever device he was going live on Twitter. He he's so messy. Oh my god. She didn't even know. She never knew soft spot. She never I don't even know to this day if she knows. Wow. Yeah, well, she thought she was going to mess with her husband and Nature Boy. Nature Boy was her side piece at the time. Who, in the end, that's who he got pregnant before he went to fucking jail. Ooh, child. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard that. So Nature Boy does have a, another child out there somewhere. He went to fucking jail. Mm. That. Who so he had that day. baby by, who I have a picture of the sonogram because she made sure I got it. Mm. Y'all don't realize how many people come to me when I'm doing lives like this or um, if I'm on IG or whatever. I got so many people that hit me up. That's true. Soft spot. Yes. Now, can I please get a luxury car so I could go ahead and close out for the day? I'm going to finish telling y'all this other little piece. So she got a hold of me. She sent me a couple of messages. Long story short, uh, we exchanged our information. I talked to her a few times. She got mad at me because, hey, Shaka, I needed you. Oh, okay. Well, I'm a hold on, Shaka. I just got a real quick question for you. That's it. So, Imani, there goes Shaka. Um, hey, Shaka. So, <laughs> okay, so let me tell y'all real quick. Let me let me say. So, anyway, she got a hold of me. She got mad at me. Hey, baby. She got mad at me. Shaka, don't go nowhere. She got mad at me because I 
exposed her on here. I was trying to interview her. She said, did you tell everybody my name? I said, no, I didn't, but I did, y'all. She got mad at me, and after that, basically, it was like, fuck me. Oh, <gasps> damn. Right. She hit me up after she had the baby. Mm -hmm. I know she had the baby, yada, 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 but she still don't fuck with me. She won't fuck with me no more because I lied. And there that is. Mm -hmm. Mm. I had got, and me and her had became cool, but it wasn't cool enough for her to fuck with me. <laughs> right. I'm going to be right. honest, y'all. I fucked it up. Fucked it up. All right. Do the baby look like so, you? Yes. Wow. Who can be very vindictive? Soft spot. I'm not talking about Niza. Girl, we not talking about Niza. I was going to say, where Niza come from? No, nah, baby, we not talking about Niza. Okay, so the lady had the baby. Um, So if the women never discussed the baby being born, because they do know. Absolutely not. Oh, no. You, that's, that's too much. That's too much uh, fire on the pot. Oh, no. Oh, Okay, so if they know about it, they're just not discussing it. No, they're not. Of course, they know about it. Of course, a they girl. Know about it. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's, the a, thing it's is, a girl. They want, they wanted all of the children. Like, if it was up to them, they would have baby Damn. Eli, but I mean, baby Ellie. You know Ellie. what I'm saying? They, they, they definitely would have Ellie. Oh my god, they. All they talked about was getting that little girl. They want that little Wait girl. Wait a minute. So they had talked about trying to take her from Velvet. That, yes, that's what I'm talking about. They talked about that a lot. Like, you know, kept pictures of her, always bringing pictures up. Like, they had a lot of pictures of Ellie. Like, they are What really, about really their kids? Scared. What None. about getting their kids back? None. Never no conversation. Never no intentions of it nothing it it was it wasn't even about his other kids either it was all about baby ellie like every time they would like even when they would decorate it would be things of him and it would be things of ellie and that's it mm, 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 mm. but they somebody said really they ever, that's crazy somebody said did they ever talk about solar and velvet Solar and Velvet weren't together at that time when they, yeah. they were living with her. No, uh, during the during the time that he that they was living with me, he was with Janae. Yeah, he was with Janae, and I know they were pissed off about that because they they aired that out. Oh yeah, hey, la, la. Had, um, I had talked to I had talked to Janae too. I talked to Janae too, and I talked to her after the fact and after Solar left, and I was on the phone. Um, on FaceTime with both of them when we was all talking about, you know, what was going on over here at the house. Oh, yeah, because you had talked to Solar. So, yeah, you talked to Janae, too. That makes sense. Yeah, I'll talk to both of them. Mm -hmm. And we talked Did for, the like, women know? Like two, three hours. Wow. Did the no, women know that know. when Solar left... Did the women know that when Solar left Carbonation that he was going to Janae? Oh, no. No. Definitely not. So they didn't know that the day the plan was, the day that him and uh, Musa left out of that house, that they went directly to where Janae was at? Nope. Nope. Mm, I no did. idea. They had, mm. I, know, I know you did. They had no idea. Because mm -hmm. when they came to me about it, like, once they remember, like, it was, you know, it wasn't just automatically when they started posting themselves being together, you know? Once they started yeah, like, posting true. themselves being together and the women actually like saw, oh, uh, they was like, oh my God, just betrayal. He'll he'll never be a part of us. Uh was Zoka, what was Zoka saying? Zoka was like, Yeah, I can't I can't get around with uh people who betray. You're a betrayer. You're I forgot what name she called him. Girl, it was a couple of times where he tried to call and reach out too, and they was not going. They had blocked him from everything. Yeah, yeah, because him and Zoka was still sneaking and talking, though, because she was on live and he busted her. He came in her room and busted her straight out. Yep, yep. And the cold yep. part about it is, this is what people don't know. The cold part about it is, when he was talking to Zoka, uh, Ephra was supposed to go with her to him. Uh-huh. 
Ephra was going to be a wife, Solar's uh -huh. wife. Ephra would have been wrapped right up in that little entanglement. That's why she had that smirk on her face. Mm -hmm. People hey, legendary pop out. That they really, they, they, they've all come up with an escape plan. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and even yeah. now to this day, they all have their own separate and secretive escape plans. Mm. Well, they don't have to escape now. They can just leave. I mean, they're not leaving from anything, honestly, because he's in jail. That's not how they feel. Y'all, that's absolutely crazy. They sitting there keeping themselves in bondage at this point. That's not how they feel. That's not how yep, they feel. Yep, he sure did. But he did. He definitely told <clears throat> Zoka on the, on the phone in um, one of the meetings. Because this was one of the ones I was sitting in or whatever. And um, Zoka, it was kind of fucked up because... <clears throat> How he how he treat her a little bit, kind of treat her a little less than. Um, she came up with an idea. She like, oh well, um, I was looking for um, you know, grants for this and that and blah 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 blah. And he's out there and he told Zoka, he was like, he was like, no, he was like, nobody's doing that. He was like, see, this is why you're not my wife. This is why you you're not my wife. You you're not even a wife, and you're sitting over here trying to come up with stuff like that. Stand down. And I was like, hmm. Okay, Damn. she's not a wife. Then <laughs> what is she? You right. know what I'm saying? Like, why is she here? Like, it didn't. It would, but he, yeah, he used to go on. He was on, talking like that on the jail phone. Yes. Mm. Oh man, man! Every single conversation from even him ordering Malia to put her in the corner, all that shit, as it has been and is recorded. And I told him that, regardless of it yep. saying it, regardless of it saying, you are being recorded. Once he first picked up the phone, <laughs> like, like, oh my god, <laughs> he like a smart dummy. He's like a smart dummy. Like, uh, he do got certain knowledge about himself that he studied from other people. You get what I'm saying? Which makes him have a little bit of, you know, but he just, he, he, he make real dumb decisions, bad decisions. Yes, he absolutely does. And Sheba, 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 when, when Aaron made that final, you know what, this shit done. What, Sheba blocked them all. Sheba didn't even have the last conversation with them. <laughs> like, oh, uh, like this is what I'm gonna do, and I won't talk to you guys. She just went on a straight block, and I'll never forget because they was running around the house. They're like, oh, "She was not answering. Call from your phone. You call from your phone. Yeah, who's not answering? You call from your phone. You call from your phone." They was all going super, and I'm just sitting here like, "Bitch, she don't want to be around." <laughs> right, she's done. Girl, that's why I say, like, I'm not finna sit up here and be like, oh, it was just this bad experience, and they tore up my house. All I can say is it was an experience. It was an experience. Mm. Some that I'll never forget. And still to this day, I still love them. You know what I mean? I still love them like, like they're my sister. Me too. Yeah. And, and, and if anybody, if in, any one of them you know, was to hit me up on the back end, which I think will happen sooner or later, and say, Jazz, you know, like, I'm sorry for how that went down, you know, like, you was right. Or, Jazz, you know, I'm I'm, I'm actually in this kind of situation, so, you know, I, I want you to, you know, help me if possible. Or, is it okay if I could just, it's just me by myself, I just need a week. Like, I would still do it, even after how mm -hmm. it went. Just because that was my intention in the first place. Y'all just didn't allow it to happen because mm -hmm. he was ordering them from the, from the jail cell. Damn. So do you see any one of them? Well, oh, let's talk about the drone case real quick. <laughs> How did you feel about how many of y'all would actually do a bid for a dude that mistreats you and talks down to you 
and basically treats you like shit, even from jail. How many of y'all would do that? Let's talk about the drone case real quick. How did you feel about the whole drone situation? First of all, if they was at my house and they would have came up with that plan, <laughs> they wouldn't even got caught up in that. Because I would have completely told them straight to their face how stupid of an idea it was and how it's not going to work. You get what I'm saying? Just like I told him the speedy trial wasn't going to work. That's the wrong speedy trial. You get what I'm saying? Everything that I told mm -hmm. them, that would have been something that I would have had a conversation with them about and let them know, explain to them what would happen instead of them listening to somebody on the other phone from jail and explain to them everything that was going to go down with that. Hey. They probably would have made that decision. They probably right. would have made that decision. I think that it was stupid as fuck. That was dumb. That was dumb. I just, uh, but for me, I feel like they one long episode of For My Men. <laughs> they like How a three hours. How you think they're gonna special. do in jail, girl? How you wait, think they're gonna do in jail? Cherry, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so you don't. To say, just give me the initials, but everybody know the initials. <laughs> I really want to know. I want. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. Um, which which one of them got him up? Which one? What do you mean? Which, which one? Two? Shit, two just got out. <gasps> two just got out. Okay. They posted as soon as they got out. Oh. Okay, I think I know. Yep, but they hadn't wait. even they hadn't even been out 24 hours before they posted. I said, "Oh, y'all asses is out." I see. Wait, so okay, did, did I, can I ask this instead of asking who it was? Where, which which city was this in? Is this here in Atlanta, or is it in? California? Yeah, it's in Atlanta. They yeah, they went to jail. They went to jail. Um, it had to be the women's center where he's at. The women's part. So they in Fulton. He's they not, in he's Fulton? In Stone Mountain. Isn't he in Stone or Mountain? Or DeKalb. He in DeKalb? DeKalb, Stone Mountain, yeah. Whatever, yeah, Stone DeKalb Mountain, DeKalb. DeKalb yeah. yeah. Yeah, DeKalb County. Yeah, I know, I, know, I know the exact one that he's at. I know the exact one that he's at. And if they went to that one, yeah, that means they was in the back on the other side. They're so, only getting probation for that, though. They're only getting probation for that. They're not getting no time. But now go. Now, I have not found any information on that, but I'm a double check. I'm a double check because I hadn't found any information that any of the wives went to jail for the drone situation. But now y'all oh, got a record. Don't y'all let her whoop my ass. Come on, y'all. Do not let OG whip my ass. But they got a record know, now. Daylight worker. Yeah. A small one. Like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, the drone. Mm-hmm. See, they should have finished that the episode. Drone. They should have finished that episode of 60 Days In with me. See, they would have... <laughs> they would have been smarter. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Let's run Miss Cherry up. I've been over here giving y'all content after content after content. And do not let her whoop me. Don't let her whoop me, please. Come on, y'all. I told y'all I needed a luxury car. She got 600 already. <laughs> I cannot believe that they got All of them up. were. Two of them just got out, baby. Dummy. Two are still in? Two are still in. Two got out. Man. Yep. They so... St Girl, let me see. Oh my God. And where's y'all been approaching? I don't mean to talk where, about them, y'all. And I'm not talking about them to down them. I really am not. I just came. It's unbelievable how silly they are. Yeah, I'm not talking about bad about them either. But it's thing is, unbelievable how silly. Where's y'all finna Come on, y'all. Don't let her whoop me. Don't let her whoop me. Do not. Amazing, you got some beans, babe. Don't let her whoop me. I do not want her whooping me. <laughs> I don't want her whooping me. She gonna talk shit, y'all. Don't let her whoop me. This not their first time in jail. No. It, and it won't be their last. Come on, y'all. We got a minute. We got a minute. You know what's we so got funny a minute. about that? Go um, ahead. Um, Drea Bay. Um, 
it's definitely a choice. I will I will say that because there were times where I was able to have regular conversations with them, like pull them out of the cult for a second. You know what I'm saying? And have like a regular conversation with them. Right. And you could tell you could tell the sadness. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I just sat there and straight cried when she was talking about, you know, how she was feeling and her experience and this and that. Like those women are really, really broken down and i say that in a sense of you know men there there are men out here pimps gorilla mm-hmm. pimps whatever you want to call it who n- know how to break a woman down and i need a luxury car y'all i need a luxury car don't let her whoop me come on y'all don't let her whoop me i know somebody got a luxury car damn it yeah but they 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 I don't know. It, it's a lost cause because if they don't have him to follow him behind, have they ever discussed if he gets time? What are they gonna do? Oh, girl, we ta- uh, girl, we ta- we definitely talked about that. You know what they said? He's he's coming mm. home. He's coming home. He's not gonna stay in. He's not gonna stay in. He's not gonna stay in. Mind you, we are on month four that he's in there, and I'm like, y'all still feel that way? They're like, he's coming home. He's coming. He's he should be out by January. No, not January. February. No, not February. March. You get what I'm saying? Like, they're in huge delusion she gonna as talk to shit. how this is going to go. Right. Like, they're very much so under the the impression that, you know, everything's going to go well. This case going to get dropped. They don't have no evidence. And that's that. Like, they're standing on that. And hey, I don't Queen know why, Rock. because they're getting all of the proof as to the fact that that's not going to go that way. Did you ever hear about them talking to other ex members or any other members on the phone, like Car- uh, Caliber? No, you want to know I- why? You mm. want to know why? It's mm. because they tell on each other. So that's one thing that I noticed about them. Oh, like, damn. They're all scared to do stuff around each other because they tell on each other. And you could tell who got told on by the end of the day because that would be the person who would be getting berated on the phone. So the last time that Zoka went to um, California and Efru followed him behind her and went and left the other two women. Oh, you wasn't talking to them then when that was happening. Hey, middle of Elsie. Mm-mm. I mean, Lucy. Nope. I remember when it was just um, Zoka and Efru. I remember that. Okay, baby. All right, babe. Go do your hours. Thank you. Yeah, you. they weren't living with you then. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I got a question. Was any extortion happening from the jail to, uh, like, was he made to do and send money to other inmates? Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That 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 definitely happened. You want to know why, Flu? Thank you, Ling Ling. You know, when it comes yeah. to the jail, you, you and, and we've both been in that situation before. You know for yeah. a fact, ain't nobody sitting on the phone for three hours unless you paying for it. Period. Yeah. Right. Because you t- you taking up the time and you got to add up the hours he was doing. He was doing eight hours on the phone with them. So all he would do on the phone, you just hear him talking to other people. Yeah, I'm coming, man. No, no, no problem. Look, hey, you do this and you do that. Like he's ordering everybody to do stuff. He's saying, I'm going to give you this. And he would be on the phone, how he was getting extorted and how I know for a fact he was, was because he'd be like, uh, Malia, send this to such and such. Then they will call other inmates, families Girlfriend. on the phone, like on five way and shit like that. And they'd be like, mm-hmm. yeah, you gotta send me this and this and that. He did that almost every fucking day. He definitely was being extorted. But he, but listen, Floyd, the thing that I feel about that is- Thank you, baby. He, he was extorting himself. You wanna know why I say that? I say because he- Because he, he too he fucking was, nice. Thank you. He was doing that. He was trying to be everybody's fucking friend. Friend. He was trying to everybody's be everybody's friend. Yeah. He was trying to know just it. so that he don't have no fucking problems. You get what I'm saying? And I would hear him on the phone. You would hear the inmates talking to him and everything. They would ask him, like, yo, when is you getting off the phone? And he'd be like, uh, just a couple more days. Here, give him that. You get what I'm saying? Like stuff to just he he was trying to get everybody to do what he wanted them to do. A- but I- these A- I- am king. Exactly. That's not diplomatic, bro. That's not diplomatic, bro. He was not being no, diplomatic, not. bro. It's it's actually you know scary if you want to ask me. That's not how it go when you're being diplomatic, man. 
Like you gotta know a dude. I'll tell you one thing. If he make it to real prison, he gonna be somebody's wife up in that motherfucker. Acting like that. I ain't never been, but I know many of people who have been. And acting like that, he gonna be somebody's woman. Diplomatic, man. Like you gotta know a dude boy when you see one, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can defend him all you want in any type of situation and you you can put him on this pedestal in your mind but the dude that you think he is he is not he, and he's not that you are manipulated like them women you yeah. know as a man bro you know what i'm saying and i ain't trying to come at you or nothing bro but for you to always try to make an excuse for another man is weird when he wrong i can see if he yep. was right instead of just throwing people away understanding why things happen I'm not about calling people sick and throwing them away. I'm about looking at things logically and saying, wow, what would make him become that person to do that? Why? So he's, a, he's a very, he was a, when he was younger, he was a very attractive young man. He's like, he could have any girl he wanted. Like, his, that was his age, because he was right. 16. We can, we, our society is a throwaway society. We have a big, we have the biggest prison in any country in the world because we throw people away and um i, I feel like that's dismissive we it was my crazy. brother's it was my brother's best friend people are yeah, asking i, I, I want to know is what was the psychology behind him doing that why don't we get to the root of why he did that what was wrong with him what do you think was wrong with him i don't know maybe he was molested i i don't know right I, 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 maybe, I can't, maybe, I can't maybe he around. was molested. Maybe he was molested, right? He was me. And um, all those years later, why are you so angry with me? I never had you arrested. The, the other women, the other girls, the eleven-year-olds and twelve-year-olds. Well, well, prison turns you into an animal. I can tell you that. But I, I never had you arrested, so why are you calling me telling me you're going to break me again? I have no idea about that. Like, I don't know the fine details. Uh, that sounds terrible, but I can't judge because I don't know. You know what I mean? What happened? I'm, I'm sorry that happened to you. Real shit. Like, that's fucked up. Like, that's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But I don't, I don't know the fine details of everything. I'm not in... I'm not in that in that deep into your relationship. I'm getting one side of the story. But I but I'm just saying, like, you know, I don't want you to victimize yourself. And what you're saying is triggering a lot of women right now in the room, and I know that. So that's a good thing. And if anybody's being triggered right now, I urge you to empower yourself with this moment and not become a victim and start feeling like somebody owes you something. No one owes you anything, and that's the key to life. For you to get your ass up and move forward and and get what you deserve out of life, you gotta forgive it. You have to you have to see it in a way that's going to empower you instead of disempower you by being a victim. And that's all I'm saying. You understand what I'm saying? We could sit here, play the violin, and feel sad and feel down, and 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 our bodies will destruct from our mindset, or we can build ourselves up and we can get up. Mm -hmm and move forward because you can't stay down no you gotta get up and you can't walk around with these traumas because you're gonna it's gonna cycle again and get therapy get help if you need help talk get help to somebody. talk to somebody you can trust yeah That's yes i love myself yo. thanks for my calling. phone is about to die thanks for calling thank you Okay, so basically, in your previous conversation with the young lady that was talking about, you know, the rape situation, um, I heard you say something about, you know, that sometimes everyone goes through something for a reason. So a situation could actually happen to you to better you, right? Right. But I feel like, do you feel like that kind of takes away responsibility from people that do bad things? Because at the end of the day, like, people do have free choice. I feel like it's a conscious decision if you want to do something wrong. I'm not saying that people are not more, they have like natural inclination to do wrong or right, but I feel like some things happen for a reason, but it's not always to better you. 
you get what I'm trying to say? It's not always a bettering thing. Like, it's not always it's a better thing. Everything's happening for you. See, this is the mindset that makes people victims, the mindset you have. Since you've been on the phone, you've had a victim mindset from, oh, we didn't have this or we didn't have that. No, I, I don't think it's a victim I, thing. I just think it's, uh, it's, a, it's a factual wanna, thing. I don't want to hang up. I don't want to hang up on you. Okay. This is what I'm saying to you. Since you've been on the phone, mm -hmm. you've had a victim mind state as far okay. as how black people, for black people, like African-American people, you're like, oh, I just feel like it's, that's the victim mind state that keeps our people stagnant and not growing. Mm -hmm. No one owes you shit. No white mm -hmm. man, nobody owes you nothing. Get up mm -hmm. and get it popping for yourself. If you don't, if you're waiting for someone to give you something, you are highly mistaken and no one's coming to save you. No one's going to give you anything. You what have do you to think? I agree with you, though. Like, I, I agree. You have to get your ass up and do the work. You can lock a rapist up, but it doesn't heal your trauma. Yeah, the rape still happened, though. You can kill the person that raped you, but you still have to live with that trauma. My job is to get you to understand how to get through the trauma. You looking at the victim, and you looking at your, your victimization, and looking at the oppressor, what we should do to the oppressor. Okay, what about you? We can kill the oppressor. How do you live your life and go forward? That's what I'm more concerned with, more than what happened to you. I'm, the universe is always looking at your response, not what happened to you, but what you do with what happens to you. You're going to push forward. You're going to forgive that shit and let it go by Changing your perspective in whatever way you got to trick yourself to move forward and be great, you better do it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Nature Boy ain't, he's far from righteous. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to understand that from a, a real man perspective. Nobody wants the worst for Nobody him. Everybody that's up him, here, yo. it's not, it's, everybody it's that's not, up here has been talking about how like much they poke him. Man. You bugging out, bro. To mo. <laughs> what is that? You got the. I, I was looking at your pictures. You got some feminine in you. You got some feminine in you, man. That's what's wrong with the world today, man. They they taking men out of men. You got some yes. feminine in you, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who said we wanted the you, worst for him? We said he's making poor choices. You know what I'm saying? Like yo, you don't want to hear logic, my guy. And that's right. what's wrong with y'all carbonation niggas, man. Y'all support that dumb ass shit because y'all are the type of niggas when I was growing up, they had a saying, and I said this before, you stand for something or you fall for anything. And that yeah. nigga, he went, you one of them niggas who fall for anything, bro. Uh-oh, here go him with his fucking do-rag on and trying to look <laughs> super handsome. I hate these type niggas, man. They think they kings. They not kings. They don't know what the fuck is going on. Y'all niggas is, hold on. Y'all yeah. niggas weird. You niggas is weird, bro. I don't like you niggas, man. Man. What I know, what I know, you a dick eater. You you come off as a dick eater, man. That's what you come off as, as a dick eating type nigga. You, can't, you making excuses for another man. You can't do that, bro. You a dick eater. I don't got to know you to know you a dick eater. I don't got to watch my mouth. Who the fuck you talking to? You not talking to me, bro. I told you you a dick eater. Eat that. I'm not dick eating. I'm not dick eating. You dick eating. You making every excuse for a nigga that's dead wrong. You won't even help your man's right. You won't even help. That's your man. That's your homie. You won't even help him right as a man. You you want some clown shit. You clown shit. Bitch.
Wait till you get a load that I'm God, homie. <laughs> Bitch. Making fun of me all that time. I'm going to have my way with you hoes. I'm going to have my way with these hoes. Hold that. Hold that for a real nigga. Yep. Hold that for your real ancestors. Because there's two type of ancestors. There's the house nigga. And there's the field nigga. Which ancestors you in touch with? Because I'm in touch with the field nigga. Bitch, the indigenous. Yeah, that spirit in me is indigenous and it's upset. God is here. We're gonna wake it up. Bitch. Smacking these hoes left and right. Taking all the fine bitches and fucking them. You know when you wanna hear a secret? All these hoes for sale. You get money, you can fuck all of them. Mm -hmm. You can fuck anything. You can have all these niggas as slaves if you got money. I ain't got no money and I still got them. I don't want money, nigga. Give me your mind. Cause it's mine. Fuck you. Playing with God. Stop playing with God, bitch. Calling the cops on God. I'ma fuck y'all in the ass. <laughs> I'ma fuck you in the ass, bitch. Shot you over the bridge. I'ma fuck you in the ass and throw you over the bridge, bitch. Wait till this white man shit fall off. We gonna fuck y'all <laughs> bitches up for doing this shit with our kids, nigga. Playing with our kids, we gonna beat y'all ass, bitch. It's gonna be no remorse, cause y'all ain't have no remorse for us. Fuck that. Uh, you disrespected us, we all behind bars doing time, confused and shit, behind a bitch. Y'all bitches gave us hell, and y'all gonna, gonna have to pay for it. It's karma for it. Yo mama's 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 mama gotta pay for karma, bitch. I want to take a moment right now for all the niggas in the hood, niggas behind bars, and I want to say thank you to the U.S. government for the law and the order and all that you're teaching us and trying to teach us. We appreciate you. I never thought I'd be saying this shit, but I really wanted to wake up and I did. I'm all the way the fuck woke up. And it brought me right back here to understand that I was my own enemy the whole time. There was no enemy. It was me the whole time. There was no government against me. There was nothing against me but me. Matter of fact, the government was helping me the whole time. Thank you, United States of America government. Thank you for taking care of us and trying to help us. I finally see that it's all good. Thank you. I'm thankful. I'm grateful for all that's helped me. I notice you and acknowledge what you're doing for us. If nobody does in this whole world, I get it. I figured it out. There is no enemy. We're doing this shit to ourselves. I am not a victim. I take responsibility for putting myself in this mess. I was ignorant. I disobeyed the laws of the universe. And now I rise in understanding why I should have never did that. I speak for all my people. I speak for the black man, my whole race. We apologize to you, Father Ra. And we are ready to serve you again. Period. It ain't even about you. It's about your, what your mama did to your daddy. That's what it's about. It's about what your mama did to your daddy. Disrespecting him as a man. 
You thought you was gonna get away with that? <laughs> you thought you was about to get away with that? Disrespect and putting niggas on child support. Black men are very angry. Black men are very angry. Look at that nigga. He's pretty nice. Feel good. Come suck one. Come through, come suck this. Go ahead, let him know. I'm fresh now, come suck on this. We yeah, all like, come through. Yeah, pimping. Come through. We pimping, but we ain't selling pussy over here. You know what it is. I want y'all to see this shit, bro. When I'm live, this is what these niggas do to me, man. The fluoride stare shit, man. They sit around and they stare at me like this, bro, like on some weird shit. And I have to catch them like because they know who I am and they just they'll sit way back there and just stare at me like it's a show. And I'm like, yo, OK, you're fascinated. I'm God. I get it. You find out you guys have believed in me and knew who the fuck I was before these people did. I get it. You're the smartest people genetically programmed in this program. But please, in this moment, let me activate you in this way. Shit, I cannot wait to June 5th when y'all <laughs> niggas get activated, bro. June 5th, y'all niggas going to be activating. It's going to be different. But for right now, it's like y'all got to chill, bro. Y'all be really dreamy. It's like when I go live and y'all see me, y'all look how you looking at me right now, bro. Yes. <laughs> bro, bro, like, what, what make you look at me like that, bro? That's just how I look. No, but you, you do be gazing at me, bro. I do. And do so are you too? What is it? Tell me. It's, it's something different. It's, it's surreal. I can't even play. It's just surreal. They nervous and shit, niggas dropping shit. <laughs> <laughs> come here, come closer to me. Come, yo, you guys come closer. Come, 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 come. Because I have to understand this concept that is going on in y'all fucking mind, bro. Where turn that light needs to be closer to me and not behind y'all. Out of the way. It needs to be in front of you. It needs to be, it needs to be like right over there. Now, nah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Seriously, I want to know. No, nah, I got to know this because. Why do y'all, I, 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 I'm going to make it live. I want everything. I'm on it. Like, seriously, honestly, like, seriously, bro. Like, be honest with me. Do you know what I'm talking about right now? Do you actually know what I, what I mean, though? Like, what I'm, what I'm actually talking about? Do you know what I'm talking about, actually? Do you know what I'm talking about when I say, like, why are, why are y'all so mesmerized by me? I know what you're talking about. Like we want to be a service and want to help, but then you start speaking and then we get the whole scene. Stop making noises. The cult leader will tell you, cut out those people in your life. If they're not smart enough to see your way, you're too good for them. Come on over. You don't need them. You don't need the toxic voices of the world. And you'll notice that while some cult and cultish religions can take place right on a busy street, for example, in LA or something, some of them may actually take place in rather remote places where it's hard for them to get in touch. Cult leaders will do things like take phones, take computers, make people change their names, their identities, cancel forwarding addresses, make it harder and harder for people to find them and say to them, you're lucky because you get to be in this special place with all of us. We are the special people. We are the chosen. So then you go on to the next step. Once the cult leader clearly has you in, then the cult leader may demand that you start dressing in a different way, wearing sometimes very plain or maybe even very inappropriate kinds of costuming, uniforms. Sometimes these uniforms can be militaristic. Sometimes they can be very simple and almost asexual. But whatever they are, they start making everyone in the cult start looking the same. In other words, now they're controlling your appearance. Once they've got you fully controlled and fully indoctrinated, the cult leader will start to lose interest. They will get distant. They will then expect nothing but blind obedience. And if you think that all that familiarity you might have had with them in the beginning means anything, they will actually cast you off, 
be harsh, dismissive, and invalidating, and it can feel really confusing to be demeaned and then discarded. Now, God forbid you decide that this doesn't feel good anymore, I miss my family, I miss my friends, I want to go. In some cults, it would be downright violence that would keep you there, but more often than not, it would be psychological control. Instead of being told you're the chosen, at this point, you'll be told that you're damaged. You don't fit into the world anymore. Do you think they really want you? Had they wanted you, they would have come looking for you. They manipulate, they gaslight, and they twist the truth so you stick around. Where else are you going to go? And you blindly and depressedly go along with the work of the cult, having given up your identity, having, give, having given up any sense of reality, having given up your aspirations, having given up the other people you love, and literally becoming almost entirely melded with the cult leader and the cult leader's purpose. Because now you've been brainwashed and told no one else would want you anyhow. In some cases, cults end in an absolute disaster. Think Waco. Think Jonestown. There are lots of cults out there still in practice. Those cults continue to isolate people to tragic consequence. I've had the clinical privilege of working with clients who are leaving or have left cults. And it is a gradual, gentle work of bringing them back to what wonderful people they are and give them back the identity that the cult stole from them. Now take a minute. And every time I said cult, and every time I said cult leader, substitute it with narcissist. Doesn't it sound the same? Love bombing, telling you you're special, isolating you from the world, telling you to change your appearance, maybe pushing physical experiences too quickly, winning you over, making you feel special, and as soon as they have you indoctrinated and trapped, discarded, if you try to leave, they hoover you through emotional control, they use flying monkeys to do their work, and then when you finally do try to leave, it's a harrowing, harrowing process that can leave many people wrecked. A relationship with a narcissist is like a cult of one. And there may be other people in their cult, family members they've brainwashed, maybe even your own family members they've brainwashed. But what you're in when you get into that relationship feels like the brainwashing, the indoctrination, the confusion, the dehumanization, the invalidation, and the utter stealing of identity that can often characterize a narcissistically abusive relationship. Most people out there don't walk around saying, hey, I'm in a cult. But I would argue that many, many people who fall into narcissistically abusive relationships are experiencing all the trauma and devastation that people who get recruited into cults do, but they don't see it that way because it's just a relationship with one person. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it goes like this right here. It's like, uh, niggas always be hollering peace, you know what I'm saying? Peace, my brother, peace this, peace that, you know what I'm saying? But every time I, I uh, try to get a peace of mind, niggas try to get a peace of mind. So I gotta grab my peace. It's the return of the gangster, gangster. Them niggas that's on that blow that run up in your crib, which contains your lady and an eight month old child to raise. Plus, you true blue about this music, but they do not wanna hear because they'd rather be bouncing and shooting and killing and bouncing and shit. Get down. Return of the gangster, gangster. Them niggas that think y'all soft and say y'all be gospel rapping, but they be steady clapping when you talk about bitches and switches and hoes and clothes and weed. Let's talk about time traveling, round javelin, something mind unraveling. Get down. Return of the gangster, gangster. Them niggas that got them kids, they got enough to buy ounce, but not enough to Bounce them kids to the door to the park so they grow up in the dark, never seeing light, so they end up being like your sorry ass. Robbing niggas in broad ass, they like get down. Return of the gangster, gangster. The niggas who get the wrong impression of expression, then the question is big, but what's up with Andre? Is he in the coat? Is he on drugs? Is he gay? When y'all gonna break up? When y'all gonna wake up? Nigga, I'm feeling better than ever. What's wrong with you? You get down. Gangster. Trouble. 
play, I just wanna kick back my gators off and watch my little girl blow bubbles. But still ready to rhyme, standing my grind, never back down, willing to rob, steal, and kill anything that threatens mine. But good luck couldn't be bought, see? Many of fights had to be fought, G. For a nigga to ride these bowls, oh so close to the sidewalk, to be gawked at. Watch your side, my nigga, cause we got gas. The first nigga to buck is gonna be the first nigga we attack. Don't want that, here it comes though. Most of the time when you don't know. Sticking together like flour and water to make that slow dough. We work both. Everything we have ain't gon' stick up for each other like we brothers from another mother. Kinda like Mel Gibson and Andy Glove Club. Strictly for the caddy lovers. And never the nut hugging punk motherfuckers. Yeah, so quit spreading them rumors. We ain't Club Nouveau. No, that. Yeah, yeah. Gangsta.